Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the Chop Shop. Special, special, special episode today. We got the uh, the the creator of the back shoulder fade. We got the <laughs> why y'all laughing already? The 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 stiff back pause. Extra pause. The stiffest there is. The <coughs> stiffest there is. No pause after that. What did he say? <laughs> we got a good friend of ours, a big mentor to both of us, an inspiration. You get what I'm saying? Bob, welcome to the Chop Shop, man. Welcome, welcome. Yo, yo, yo. I feel like I should get a clap for that, too. Round of applause. Yeah, round of applause. Round of applause. Yeah. Hey, no, fellas, I appreciate it. Um... I think we way past friends. Good to be here with family, you know. Yeah. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Um, damn, I don't even know what to say because it's been a long time coming. Yeah. It's, it's been a long time coming. Um, So we've already told, like, our side of the story, mm-hmm. right? But give a quick rundown of how, like, all this came about. Oh, facts. You ain't said nothing. So, uh... Obviously, me and Aaron uh, linked up at work. He wanted to catch some fades on the court, so I was like, okay, let me come on ahead and get him down to L.A. Gave him fades for days before he tried to show what he can do. And then we linked up, got really, really cool outside of work, started chopping up about life and careers and stuff, started hooping every day, wanted to get a little better. And then this little Florida kid came down with the mid-fro, Mid jump shot, weak handles, weak defense. Facts, 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 facts. <laughs> y'all see how they doing me, right? I'm gonna just let y'all do it that. No, legit though. Um, <clears throat> um, obviously we all share some things in, in common: competitive nature, uh, wanting to get better on and off the court. And obviously, I had already linked up with uh, Zay from competition on the court. We was giving each other buckets, and went back to the. Went back to the job the next day. Hey, Aaron, you got to meet this young cat. He coming out, he hooping. He don't got that dog in him yet, but, you know, he got a little shot. He got a little competitive nature. Of course, Aaron had to come the next day, rough him up a little bit for no reason. And y'all going at it, giving each other buckets. The rest is history. History. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we've been rocking with each other ever since. How long has it been now? All three of us, probably like two, two years, two and a half Me years. Me and you, we area. over three Me yet? Me and you, like three or four wow. in that area. Yeah. Time flies. It flies. You don't even realize. That's what's crazy about it. Trade uh, Okay. Oh. Little, okay. What? Little, little bar right there. Time flies. You don't even realize. You got a 16 <laughs> for us? Stop it. That's the rapper. That's the rapper. But that's the rapper, rapper, though. But you're not, not a rapper. rapper. I'm not a rapper. Though. Okay. Okay. Um. So, yeah. First guest, bro. Um. First of many, hopefully. So I do want to say we we got to get like a, whether it's like a six month or like a year thing update where we bring them back. Definitely. Definitely. Well, yeah, well you scared me, bro. Oh, nah, real shit. You seen how yeah. I um, A year, six month update. We get you back on. Right. You get what I'm saying? We'll chop it up then. Um, But before we touch into, you know, all the things we're going to get into, essentials. How's your week? Uh, week been been good. Yeah, been good so far. I was able to take care of financial aid stuff for school. Uh, stopped by the job. You know, bullshitted a little bit. Are oh, you talking the, about me? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about yesterday. Yeah. But, um, yesterday I had a, you know, weekly hoop sesh. Uh, broke in some new shoes. I ain't gonna lie, Dame Sevens they good. They just bricks. They heavy as shit. They feel like bronze. You so stay out the box. I tell you, they're gonna help your hops out. What you mean? So you gonna help my hops in. out? Nah, bro. <laughs> I don't know if it's the cushioning, but I got my thirty. I got my Jordans in my bag, so I don't know. The dames ain't not bad, but you know, pull up, pull up, recommend. pull up. Jay Jones, you know how he was wearing the two different shoes on. Chill out. Each foot. Mm-hmm. No, seriously. Try them out. See how they see feel. See how it feel. But I think with that, it'll just a. It depends because I'm more of a one foot jumper, mm-hmm. so my left leg is gonna feel it more than my right leg would. Put it on your dominant foot then. The what? dam. The dam. Yeah. Okay. And see how I feel. I'll uh, try that. Your week was solid. Can't complain. You know, I'm trying to live the married life, so 
Working and getting funds right. Marriage. You better than me. Marriage. Like Zay ain't going to be too far behind. Huh? At this rate. Huh? Yeah. I'm That's proud of you boys. Y'all it's one thing to be booed up, but he elbow and elbow. <laughs> that didn't come a long way. Notice how we are you looking at me like that? Oh, my fault, my fault, game. My Notice fault, we my put fault, Aaron game. in that conversation. We haven't because Aaron is swear every week is something new with Aaron. Every week it's either, yo, like what's wrong with the female gender? Like this is why I'm gonna get cats when I'm older. Like, <laughs> so we lying <laughs> every we week though? Yeah. At least once a week. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. I hit y'all this past week and the week before that. And if we scroll far enough, we'll probably find something the week before that. But Cap. He called me misogynistic, bro. I say you moving misogynistic, same thing. bro. No, it's not the same thing. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> into, the, into the next topic. Into the next topic. Um... Yeah, everybody, everybody was so solid. Yeah, oh, no complaints. Yeah, everybody was so solid. So uh, we're basically going to dissect our guest here. We're oh, going to so try to get as many questions. gems from you. I was like, yeah, y'all kind of already as we possibly with the stiff can. Back. I'm a little afraid. We'll get to the stiff back in a second. Pause. I'm really going to get it. Yeah. Wow. Um, They're going to learn where it started. So uh, wow. I don't know if you know this, <laughs> but we kind of grew up in the same area. Mm. Uh, He was like... I, like five to ten minutes from where I grew up, up in Sherman. No, nah, in in, the, in uh, Dallas Garland area. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Right. So, um, real quick, talk about like your upbringing, right? Um, <clears throat> how your parents were with you, what it was yeah, like yeah. growing up down there, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, definitely say um, extremely blessed. Uh, grew up in a two parent household. Um, got the best of both worlds. Real competitive father, hard worker, worked multiple jobs to provide. Um, mom's a saint. Love taking care of everybody on the block. We would be the house. Everybody come and get food and stuff from. Everybody was welcome to the house, to the crib, to the backyard. All the food and everything. So, you know, definitely had those benefits. They instilled really great morals. Mm-hmm. Um, you mix in a a few great teachers and coaches along the way. I think that I'm extremely blessed to to obviously know Christ as my Lord and Savior. And then also have some really good mentors and role models in my life. So, got a lot of butt whoopings on the way, though. Oh, most definitely. That's <laughs> were, you, were you like the? Were you the kid who like um? You getting in trouble at school, or was it just like, just just dumb stuff? I think that's one and the same. <laughs> in trouble? No, I no, no. Like dumb stuff. No, like like you was just bad or like stupid. I feel like there's a difference. I don't know. I feel like that was like a group therapy thing. So um, <laughs> I'm the middle child of three. I got an older sister and a younger brother who's technically bigger than me somehow. I don't know how that works out. But we had the whole thing where all the way up until about second, maybe third grade, always been studious, but we like to find things out. So, you know, if it's at school, we were probably one of the two class clowns. Um, still made A's and B's. Class clown for sure. Love to talk, love to fun, have fun, all those crazy things. At home, like I said, strict parents. As long as we got our chores and stuff done, we were solid. But we used to average probably about a butt whooping a week, to be honest. A week? A week is crazy. Yeah, coming up, that sound accurate. You was getting one a week? <laughs> I want to say one a week. Like me, I was trying like maneuver my way out of it. But, you know, <laughs> I got four younger siblings and See, you the oldest, though, right? Yeah, they, yeah, don't, they don't listen. You try to put them on game and be like, yo, listen, y'all just do what y'all supposed to do. We all good. going for it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But see, you got, this, you got a different, too, because you got a sister. Oh, bro, I didn't tell you she did some more shit, bro. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying it's two different ways the way parents attack uh, the women in the household versus the men. the men. Like, my sister didn't get really whooping. That's that's not fair. She was materialistic. You take a few things from her, she did, right? Oh, Oh, yeah. Me and my brother, you take you take. The, I'm old, y'all. So you taking the Nintendo 64 away, or are you taking our outside time? Because you know, a Nintendo 64, yeah, they like vintage now. Yeah, this back know. in the days of Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, Goldeneye, and things of that sort. You take that away from us. I would most times I'd rather take the butt whipping than you taking that away. To be honest, that's how it is. For real, it's yeah, like that's how you average it. Yeah, coming up. I was always in neighborhoods where I had, like, friends, and mm-hmm. we'd go out, we'd, we'd, like, who play football, whatever. It's like, mom was like, oh, you can't go outside. No, nah, I'm good. Just take my phone. Yeah. I ain't talking to nobody, no way. Yeah. Like, 
Just take the phone, <laughs> bro. Take the phone, take the, the game. Way. I'm gonna just be outside getting burnt. But see, you don't you don't know too much better. Y'all got no, I was, technology for everything. I now. was just let me get my whooping. Yeah. Let me, let me get my lick in. I'm cool. And I'll go about my business. Because you're like, y'all don't me. go outside and play. Kids don't go outside and play no more. Why? We were from after we finished those chores, homework done, until those street lights came on, we was We was out out in the streets. Out. So why don't kids be out? Let's talk about it. Technology. That right there. Phone. Everything. I think technology in general. Cause it's like especially nowadays with like VR and things like that. Mm-hmm. Like kids really don't have to go outside to get certain experiences mm-hmm. that we had coming up because it's like everything's so virtual now. Yeah, so I think that technology probably is the biggest factor that goes into that. Do you not, well, question, do y'all not think that that handicaps y'all in some ways as much as it was innovated to help? Um, Handicaps us, us or the younger generation? Well, so keep in mind, so like you have conversations about like, you know, taking your phone. There was no taking our phones. You know, we, uh, I'm 33, so I grew up in the household Damn. age. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in the household age where, you know, we had a house phone, right? So you, you ain't just going to take the whole house phone from everybody. Um, by the time we got cell phones, I think I was just getting into high school. But, I mean, even then, the um, internet service, you guys can do virtually every single thing that you want. You can buy houses and cars from your, your cell phone. Oh, yeah. That is true. That is true. If you wanted to send a message, it costs like a dollar a message back in my day. Damn. Damn. Yeah, so chopping it up with females, searching the internet. Imagine falling asleep on the phone back in the day, bro. Oh, and your mom's sleep. busting your room talking about, so why the hell my phone bill $500? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't talking to her no more. Oh, bro. But I'm saying it it handicaps you in a way. We were, you know, uh, we were forced to do things like that, like the innovation of like uh, Internet Mm -hmm. in general. So think about it. You guys had your cell phones. You know, another big thing with the video games, we didn't even have online gaming when I was growing up. What the fuck? So our online gaming consisted of just like you and you, whoever was in the same room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I I remember that. Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. Y'all had 2K and shit. We were. Two, we were back. Uh, NBA Live was the game back Damn, when I was younger. NBA Live, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Played NBA Live. NBA Live was the, the place. But I mean, if did you y'all have to, the the uh, the NCAA football mm-hmm. shit? But see, NCAA and college football and basketball was actually better back then than it is now. Really? Mm-hmm. I think to be honest, didn't they like do away with NC uh, in the gaming? Yeah. yeah, I heard they was going to bring one back. But they was going to bring it back them. with, like, new names and likeness. Like, I've been seeing, like, mock covers with, like, Joe Burrow on it from yeah, his first like season. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be tough. We didn't play stuff like that. We played stuff like uh, Mario Kart, GoldenEye, Smash Brothers Brawl. But you had, like, a gang of dudes in the same room that's waiting on their turn to hop on the joystick. You nice at, you, uh, nice at Smash? Smash Bros? I'm not you yes nice. and no. Nah, you're not nice. If you got to <laughs> think about it, you're not nice. I just grew up with a whole bunch of people. This is all they did all day. Okay. They okay. hooped and played Smash Bros. Yeah, see, that be getting on my nerves because if it's like, if I'm on a game, right? Mm-hmm. For example, Fort. We all be on Fort. It be them boys that just be like. That's all they do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Headshot. You are you already down. It's like, bro, go touch grass. So, okay, question. So, because somebody's better than you, that makes them a sweat? I'm asking. Oh not, God! No, nah, yes. I think it depends. It depends on how how they beat you. If you consider yourself to be good at anything, and they better than you, yeah, you're, you're a sweat. But I also don't see being a sweat as an insult. So for think? so, I think with Bob, what Bob just said is like, for example, say like we hoop, right? Okay. And say like we hooping against Bron. Is Bron a sweat at hoops? Is Bron? Yeah. LeBron James? Yeah. Is he a sweat? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. But my definition of a sweat is different than y'all's. But you don't think that people see like the way me and you play defense as it? As being a sweat? They 90% see that. 90% of your arguments are what? No, no, no. They see that, but that doesn't mean I'm a sweat. I don't think I'm a sweat. Plus theirs. It just means I like to get after it. Yeah. I'm saying the fact. You got that dog. How many, how many dudes you know are running full court presses in pickup games? <laughs> that's that's it. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's facts it, really. though. But think that's about facts. it. When we first was hooping at LA, who else was doing stuff like that? Nobody. Nobody. And we doing a two man press. What they do that at? It that's was crazy. working. It was working. But that's definitely something people would say. Uh, what happens when we used to play and we used to be getting ready to get picked up? If you get picked up, next pickup is usually me. Yeah. If I get picked up, next pickup is usually 
speaking of 2K, uh, what was that? 2K16? Orange Juice? I think it was. Orange Juice. So they had Michael B. Jordan in one of the 2K games, and he was, like, the best friend of your my player. Mm -hmm. So, like, that. yeah, I think that was 16. Yeah, and it was some, like, chemistry thing you where y'all going on the – they increase your attributes and shit. Basically, it's like me and Aaron. Yeah. It's like he, he tee up, he get hot, like, I automatically start teeing up, even if I don't score. Is that not is that not realistic, though? It is. It is. About every single time you see Aaron in the background, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Let, let me play defense. Let me lock a nigga up. I'm going to hear Aaron. I'm going to hear Aaron <laughs> in the background. You don't even got to hear Aaron coming to the gym. You just, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You know where that's coming from. That shit don't get y'all going, though? Hell, yeah, dude. All right, then. So I didn't see homeboy at it's the gym for like a whole a month. You said what? I said I didn't see you in the gym for like a whole month because you was hooping somewhere else. I knocked down the tray ball. Oh yeah, Bob. Oh, I come in there randomly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who the fuck? I know that ain't yeah. who I think it is. Man, I went to one of his games. Right. They had this dude. <laughs> they had pink this shirt. No, nah, not pink shirt. Uh. Oh, you know dude, what I can. You know do. what I could do. They had this dude, but oh, I ain't shit. gonna lie. He he went back. He he had a he little game up. to him. Yeah, he had a little game to him. So they hooping or whatever. And then if I recall correctly, either. You guarded him one possession. And, and I teed him up. You, yeah. yeah. And then, After he had just dropped like 10 straight, I think. So Bob get a stop. Like, Damn, bro, you letting this old ass. He he walking walking back. Said, Damn, bro, you letting this old ass nigga, this old ass nigga lock you up? Man, I ain't worried about him, bro. Y'all know what I can do, man. I'm chilling. It's like, nah, I ain't going for it. Calm down. He try to do that shit again. Hey, Bob, don't let him scope. All on the sideline. He dang there on the court. Pulling up the shorts, hands out. That nigga's not trying to let him scope. Kimmy sitting next to me looking like, what the fuck is going on? Like, no, 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 no. No, nah, it ain't gonna lie. It gets you going, though. Yeah, I'm doing my job. You doing your job? I'm doing my job. Instigating all Hall of Fame right here. <laughs> Speaking of instigating. Ah, shit, see, here you go. Speaking of instigating. I already told y'all I'm not. No, 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 no. We're not talking about that. Oh, all right. We not talking. Oh, about I thought that. we was about to talk about it. No, no, no. He See? said he don't want to talk about it. He don't want to talk about it. He's a, he's a good guy. You're a good what friend, can I Zach. say, man? It's what, it's what I'm here for. I got you, gang. Appreciate yeah. it. I feel like you should ask the people, though. Ask the people what? Wow, that's Ain't crazy. shit to ask them. Should we ask the people? Ain't should shit ask, to ask Definitely them. ask the people. Ask them what? What is the rules of engagement when your homeboy or homegirl is about to, to throw hands? What you think, Zach? Y'all looking at me. I thought we was asking the people. Um... <laughs> Rules of engagement. Uh, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you answer first. Okay, I'm gonna answer it with a question. I get into an altercation. Mm. Somebody stick me. Oh, I stick his ass back. Mm. What you doing? We fighting. Who you fighting? The nigga that stuck you. Okay, I get. I'm probably sticking him before you stick him. Oh okay. God. Yeah. Okay, I get. I same situation, right? He stick me. I stick his ass back. His mans try to come in. Oh, nah. Nah. It's raps. Oh, God. It's really. That's, that's not yeah. a question. Okay. So, if that nigga would have stuck you yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he talking about, oh, you don't know where you at, where everybody in this gym going to jump you. We nigga, I looked at him. Texas I said, who Fitness. is everybody, bro? You going to lose your life. <laughs> he didn't know I rolled up in there with, like, what, four of y'all? Yeah. yeah. And, and so then Walt lurking in the background, Walt. Tall ass, like I didn't even know where he was during the whole shit. Wall just chill. Wall, Wall was there. Those be the most dangerous people though, the quiet ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. them the ones you gotta worry about. Y'all know that yeah. video where it's like who who was getting an altercation? I think it was like Katie and somebody else, and then Russ is in the background just lurking. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. You know what I'm talking? I know about. what you want to talk about. Yeah, that nigga that. Russ just lurking. He in his suit and tie. He waiting <laughs> on nigga. She looking. He like, yeah, nigga, make a move. Yeah, that's yeah. how we moving. We in McKinney, Texas. Apparently, y'all y'all hard out here in McKinney. You better recognize. <laughs> that's nigga. what I missed. Yeah, I, I apologize, McKinney. Come on, bro, lock in. McKinney, this be your McKinney issue. McKinney is insane. <laughs> you don't be locked in. Okay, so what was your question on it? Um, <laughs> what was my question on it? I forgot where I was going with this. So, instigating. Yeah, yeah. Was that situation yesterday instigated by who? Anybody? Yes. You think by it him. was? Yes, by him. That's what started the whole. Okay, the whole so what's the difference? What's the difference in him talking shit compared to how I talk shit? Honestly, mm. only difference is y'all don't know each other. I think 
it comes to it comes down to respect and just there understanding circumstances. Cause that nigga, he ain't know who Bob was, but Buddy was talking out his neck. Yeah. When you talk shit, you keep it respectful within the game. Yeah. I think that's the only difference. So like you you difference. don't go you don't go like you don't go around calling niggas pussies. You don't be calling niggas bitches. Because notice faces. I didn't hold back on that once that came out of his mouth. It yeah. was not, it came yeah. to the point that I'm intentionally calling him that. If you gonna what flex the fuck you want to do, pussy? I was like, oh shit, this nigga Bob. You got to pronunciate your p's and your b's when you're in that situation. That, it adds the the layer of effect to it. That nigga was moving like clay. <laughs> like you know, you, you know how clay? the walk, you know how, the clay walk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So anytime there was an altercation, and I specifically remember this, this was Golden State in Cleveland, right? Started doing that, that wobble. Yeah, Steph and Braun got into it. Clay, he gonna walk by. He gonna talk some shit. Braun switches attention to Clay. Clay started walking, walking. around. He yeah. just yeah. he just moving walking. like nigga. You can't talk shit and start walking. Yeah. Like, nah, why fair, talk? Fair, yeah. fair. Yeah, like As Clay ain't want no smoke. I was telling him yesterday. Time you pressed him and you was like, "What's up?" Mm-hmm. His first reaction was, did, "Y'all didn't peep, bro." He was like, "Nah, it's cool. I don't want to talk no more." I ain't about to talk. And y'all, y'all don't remember that? He took a step back. I remember anymore. you said that. Right when Bob pressed him, he was like, nah, nah I don't want to talk. Let's cool. Check up. But see, that's no different than what you always get mad at other people about. Notice I wasn't even talking to homeboy. That That's what he started the altercation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He wasn't, you wasn't even talking to him. You were talking, talking to, to him. his teammate because mm-hmm. Buddy kept calling fouls for his teammates. Yeah. And that's Niggas that have was a the mouth. whole issue. We yeah. had pick up ball and you calling fouls for another player. Oh, but don't let one of us do it. Well, that was oh, the problem. Yeah, Remember, yeah, after he had called it like two or three times, y'all both made a call on separate occasions. And homeboy, I man, y'all playing like some bitches. He's so like, now we bitches, but we making legitimate calls. And then you on the other on end the other calling hand. from the three point line, and homeboy's on the block under the goal. Oh, that's a foul. Out. Yeah, I'm like, well, then why did he not call a foul? Well, you called travel. Yes, he jumped in the air and came straight back down with the freaking <laughs> ball. No, no, he was on one leg. How that make sense, the bro? The one leg killed Yo, me, though. No, because what you said leg. after that, bro. <laughs> the one leg killed me, bro. He was like, bro, how he came down? He was on one leg. What you said? I said, well, he got to come down. He can't fly. That <laughs> shit killed <laughs> me, bro. Fly, bro. And I'm, I'm looking at home. I said, he didn't let go of the ball. And like, I said, I clearly hit the ball. Yeah, yeah, but he was on one leg. So he made it all the way up to the rim. On one leg. On one leg, bro. He now like that, it can five, stretch. eleven, six foot. It can stretch. Uh, oh God! It can stretch. That's that new shit. Oh, you not going for it? I was not going for it. Y'all know I wasn't going for it. Okay. Say so after the first game, y'all saw how I was moving. After them niggas sold me that first game, bro. Yeah. That nigga slow, ain't he? Slow as shit. That boy Zay be trying to recruit hard, bro. Yeah, Hell, we dropped that nigga. Hell and yeah. And then we ended up winning. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I, I took the count of for it. Didn't twice. And they went home. Got them off. Well, I'm talking about the homeboy. I got into it. He, we, Oh, him? we know we beat oh. them niggas three times. Well, I'm talking about after the the altar. Oh yeah, yeah, we beat them niggas three times. He came in the gym talking hot shit. Well, did see, we that lose? Was the problem. No, <laughs> after no, we, we didn't after lose. we got what's it called after, out of there? We didn't lose, did we? We lose. didn't. Wait, I think we did once against who? Um, no, 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 no. We didn't lose after we all Shorty joined up. Like, Shorty was like she had next, and then that's when we was like no, 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 no. So we played that game, and then I switched with Rick. Yeah, that's what happened. We didn't, and then lose. we lost with Rick. Rick was never on our he team. He wasn't on y'all's team. Y'all was playing against Rick him. was with us. He was. He had next. Yeah. And then that's how he ended up on our team. Rick went to the other team and he gave us Bob. Yeah. I came on because I had uh, set up. Remember, we went on the same team at one point because mm-hmm. you was, me and him was playing together and that's the one game we lost. So yeah. the team we talking about, it's with the the buff nigga. I was like, we should drop it's for him for Walt. That's <laughs> yes. the team we talking yes. about. We lost with him because he ended up on another team with OG. Him and OG was on the same Who's team the and they beat us. Dude? I don't remember that. The nigga, the nigga with the dreads. The he nigga that shoot flat as shit. I didn't think you was playing with us when me and him played with him. I did. We was on the same team. That's when I was like, oh, we should drop him. Okay. And then we didn't drop him. Then we, I don't think I was playing that game. Wait, no, 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 no. Was, was. It wasn't me. Miles. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. And then we lost one of those games. And then that buff nigga, he switched to the team with OG. But when did we lose? Because that first game, nigga, we got the high schoolers off. That's when Miles went through the legs on old dude. Yeah, I know. And I'm saying it was at least <laughs> two, three games after that. We Shout lost? We Miles. lost. To who? <laughs> I don't know who it was. Was it Rick? Was it Rick? Yeah. Oh, we you. did lose to this yeah, bitch ass nigga. You. I remember that. Fuck you. Sorry ass nigga. This shit won't. Okay. <laughs> Mama. 
<laughs> all right, so that's how it. That's the backstory on it. It was uh, some heated games, and we all was tearing up. Right, heated games, good competition on both sides, and then we got a guy who I guess doesn't play too much ball, but he was an athlete. I'll give it to him. The young young kid, he was getting up there. Who? As far as coordinated, no. But as far as the athlete, oh, you talking about the nigga that ain't called his own fouls? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, we it's a heated battle. Ooh, you might. We going. We going into games where it's he said the mic that nigga said <laughs> one or two to win right so it, every game is heated yeah. right so homeboys uh, got a female guarding them mm-hmm. right you know no disrespect to women playing ball but they tried to exploit it yeah homeboy had the female guarding them under hey, the goal. Who's he talking about he talking about old girl that was on our team yeah oh, the girl that hit one shot in five games. <laughs> I just said no disrespect to women. I wasn't disrespect. I'm calling it. It's a fact. It was, was a good shot, though. Was it was a good shot. I made that pass. Oh, he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were okay, trying to okay. exploit it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. So he had already Sorry, called a couple of bullshit fouls. Homeboy goes up. I block it at the top. He never saw me behind him. I block it at the top. Help side. Homeboy is from the three-point line. Calls. Did he call foul or what did he say? I honestly don't know what he, he did. It was some bullshit. He, he made a call. He called I called foul. travel homeboy, jumped with the ball. He took a power dribble, jumped with the ball, came down with the ball without ever letting it go from his hand. Took another step to go back up, and I called travel. Now, apparently, half his team said, yeah, but he only jumped on one foot. Uh, homeboy said, like, yeah, but you fouled him. I said, well, he didn't call a foul if that's what I did, even though I hit the ball at the top of the arc. We was walking the other way after you called travel, and Buddy was like, hell no, that's a foul. Mm-hmm. I looked at him with such disbelief because I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And then the words came out of homeboy's mouth, you over there playing like a bitch. Your mother. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well. So now we got a problem, right? You know, Hooper's going to talk shit. That's part of the game. Mm-hmm. I agree. But now when I press homeboy about it, now I'm calling him every bit of bitch, pussy, and hoe that I can I can pronunciate. <laughs> now he want to throw hands and tells me I better remember where I'm at. Once again, in McKinney, Texas at LA Fitness, yeah. where all the thugs are. You know the vibes. Yeah. All the thugs are. So the rules of engagement, in the midst of us getting ready to throw these hoes, you know, Aaron said his piece, and then he got out the way. You know, my boy Zay asked homeboy. Wait, no, no. Do you know why I got out the way? Because we've already had this conversation. That nigga said, <laughs> Bob said, nah, what's up, homie? I said, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah you already, it's dead. a point. It's a point He's where it's dead. just Hooper's talking, and then it's a point where homeboy thinks I'm a bitch. I'm finna have to find out. Because I'm not it. saying I'm going to win. I'm not saying I'm finna lose, but we finna find out. Let him throw it. We finna find out. And that, that's what I learned yesterday. Because <laughs> as soon as I seen Bob press this nigga, he was like, what the fuck is up, nigga? I was like, all right, let's, come on. Can we finish this game? So homeboy and is Aaron moving behind me. Zay as he's doing this. And Zay puts his hands up to grab me. Yeah. Homeboy is still free and roaming. Roaming. That's why I expect roaming. one of these other niggas to step roaming. in. But no. No one's holding the homeboy back. And Zay grabs me, and he proceeds to not move. <laughs> I'm trying with all of my power not to hit him. <laughs> Zay, can you please say move? I'm like, no, I know, I move. know, just chill. Like, let's finish the game. So rules of engagement. Y'all heard what Aaron said. Is Zay in, is that a foul on Zay? Because obviously I can get slid as he's holding my <laughs> arms. No, like, out of there. Out of there. Yeah. Right? And now I'm sitting here, Fool. bloody nose. <laughs> I'm laid out on the court like a bad charge. What I'm gonna sit there and crazy. say? Uh-oh. What I'm gonna sit there and say? Oh, he snuck me. Yeah, like nah. I wasn't ready. They what, not going what for I'm it. Gonna say? Every time Bob walk in that hole, oh, that's the nigga that got, got his ass got, beat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I told homie afterwards. I said, "Hey, I get it. There's gonna be a time and a place where I might need you to talk me off a ledge because I'm so far gone that I need you to talk me off that ledge." But that wasn't one of those times. Copy. I said, that might be the time that I end up sliding you so I won't get my ass whooped by the dude I'm actually trying to shit, trying to I, throw with. Shit, and I get slid. I'm out here trying to help niggas out. I get slid. Air, <laughs> that bitch getting aired out. <laughs> but I get slid for trying to get a good deed. Yeah. So Nobody rules of engagement, we need y'all to, to chime in. F- Is it a violation if your homeboy or your homegirl stops you from fighting without no one holding the other in person? In his defense, in, in Zay's defense, Mm-hmm. He didn't know. Yeah. I think that's the first time we've been in a situation that, exactly. like that. I'm usually the one trying to calm y'all down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't even really think it ever gets to that. Me. But that was the first time, like, we've had that yeah. type of incident. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Gotcha. That so, is. <laughs> I ain't know no better. My perspective. So you doing what you doing, right? 
Wherever the fuck you was at, I don't know where you was at, bro. Tell me, this nigga Walt was in the fucking For shadows. Real? Nigga, no, you was, I was looking at I, this nigga. I was li- right across from Bob. I did not see you, bro. That's the quiet one. He gonna be the one to throw it first. See, oh, okay. they, Bob's talking about some that nigga would have snuck him. That nigga Walt would have dropped from the top <laughs> rope. <laughs> <laughs> Said some of the different language. <laughs> 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 nah, for real though. Nah, for real though. So I'm, ch- I'm like, I'm peeping what's going on. And then I hear y'all saying, you know, y'all saying exchanging words or whatever. Y'all know I, I like that. So I'll go, let me turn my head. What they, what they got going over there, right? Then I seen y'all was for real. I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and stand at the top of the key. Zay over there trying to calm you down. Zay, Follow look, Follow Zay looking at me. Like, Aaron, like, why you not Aaron, like, bro. Yeah, bro, like I look at this nigga, I'm like, Come help on, me. help me. I'm like, nah, bro, just just let him be. Yeah, said, yeah. But as soon as he said I was like, all right, cool. What if he throw them hoes? I guess he throw them. We throw them. Like I said, we going to find out. I'm not one of those people that's overly cocky, like I'm going to whoop everybody ass. Nah, I might lose, but yeah, we finna find man. out. Oh, God, we finna find out. Do you have anger problems? Very much have anger. Did problems. you have anger problems as a kid? You asking those kind of quickly. Well, I feel like you insinuating something. No, I'm <laughs> maybe. Did you have anger problems as a kid? Very much have anger problems, but at my age, you can learn the consequences of your anger a lot quicker than at y'all's. How do you deal with it as a kid? I did it. That's why I kept on getting in trouble. How did your parents deal with it? They whooped my ass. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I will definitely say it was like I said. Uh, my parents was a lot of teamwork. Uh, my dad was definitely the enforcer. I got a lot of ass whoopings from stupid stuff and not being able to, con- not just anger, because we so, we're so quick to put everything off on anger. A lot of times it's the, uh, the things that ignite anger. Mm-hmm. You know, you think about, you know, relationship problems, um, love, lust, um, nervousness, not knowing how to articulate yourself, being misunderstood. A lot of those things spur anger. So I dealt with a lot of those kind of issues growing up. And didn't know how to articulate myself. So he came out with my hands or my mouth. So Impulsive. He used to get on me for that very. all the time. But it gives me the, um, the opportunity as, um, you know, as I'm older and more mature minded, you know, to have conversations with people like Aaron, who I see a lot of myself now, who's very impulsive. Extremely. <laughs> to have those conversations with him, knowing it's coming from someone who loves him versus someone who's just basically. Who's just talking. Doesn't really. Yeah, just talking. We need to get back into boxing. I just I've been saying this for months, but anytime I say it, it's like, nah, bro. But notice the nah, person nah, who's bro. lifting the, the least is the one that's making that comment. Who? I be lifting. You be lifting? Yeah, bro. Bro, I'm 180. You know what I'm saying? I've soaking been in the wet. gym. No, not soaking wet. Soaking <laughs> wet, probably 190. But, you know what I'm saying? Got my weight up. I've been in the gym. So Aaron you got your weight up from a new love interest? or See, and then mm, we do this shit. No. Or you got your weight up because got my weight up you're getting right. Routine. Got my weight up because of creatine, because I'm trying to walk on at UNT. Got my weight up for different reasons outside of a relationship. Aaron, stop. Mm, <laughs> my fault. My fault, gang. My fault, gang. Damn. Okay. So when we going to put the gloves back on, man? Yeah, let's do I that. keep an extra set. What you mean? Shit, I got trunk. two in my car. Mine's in the trunk. Walt, you trying to box? That nigga ain't trying to box. <laughs> that nigga ain't trying to box. <laughs> he talking about some. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he going to um, be out there with the car. You know, the cardio because the first thing that we work on with it. Yeah, ain't try- that shit. <laughs> Y'all remember the you remember the the heavy jump rope? Yeah, I still got it. Or do you have low key? It sucked, but that joint gonna get you right. Mm-hmm. It gonna get you right for real. Right. Um, so you talked about uh your folks and how they. Oh my god, he called a charge. That's a bad call. That's not a charge. Let me stop. We do this every time. That's a bad. That that was a bad call. Um, look at that. Oh, uh, actually, so? looking at that angle, that, that looked angle different. that looked like a charge. Yeah, that angle looked different. Outside the, outside the, and he beat him there. He did beat him there. He did sell it. But you talked about uh, is he first team all defense? Stop. <laughs> Goodness gracious, he does this every time, Bob. Every time. He so does this. I can't give a nigga props outside. But perspective. When I whenever, whenever I give, nigga. whenever I give my people props, he's not going for it. No, because there's a difference. You like to and talk. Look what happened. He just next got play. kicked in the head. Look what happened next play. Oh, he finna get a tech. Grant Williams is not in a position to do that, bro. He trying to win. But why are you yelling at the ref? Know your role. He trying to win. His that's teammates like, not doing it. That's like we in the men's league we did last year, foul, and we got though. Mason yelling at the refs. Mason, shut and the if, fuck up and, and sit down. And what are you, you yelling for? If me, I love you, you Mason. If me, you, Toye, whoever, Walt X, not acting accordingly, and maybe he does that to 
get a row out of us. Yeah, but you know I always can't crack. But I'm saying if he didn't. And, and they, that's what's happening with the Celtics. They down 3-0. They need some shit to get him going. He trying to. You don't think that should come from the, the coach? What? Or like one of the actual star players? It's though? circumstantial. It's circumstantial. What's the circumstances? <laughs> it's game. Like, it's game. It's four. game four. You niggas not let y'all going home. Niggas not shot the edge of the bed for Wait, three they straight go, games. They gonna go home and be like, "I wish I would have did something to wild them up." No, it's it's hard to like give a black and white answer because <sighs> you don't think we do the same thing to each other. Well, and that's what I was about to say, but it's circumstantial because there's I know I can say some shit to him where he really doesn't want to hear it. Right, and it'll like but it's ruin necessary. his mood. Type no shit. different than vice versa. Black straight just dropped nine points in a row. Previous game, hey Bob, you finna guard him. What if he give you all twelve? He gonna earn all twelve of them. Homeboy miles. didn't. Homeboy didn't score next game. Shit, we got unlimited fouls for a reason. <laughs> Chill out, bro. See, that's why pickup basketball is going down. It's horrible. Down the it's horrible. We got unlimited, bro. I don't shit, know. I feel hey. like it's circumstantial, bro. I feel like when you're in a team, especially. At the pro level, you with them dudes every single day Hurt. for eight months minimum. Minimum. You're with them for eight months minimum. That's eight months playing games. That's not including the offseason. Practice. Season. That's not including, like, stuff outside of basketball that y'all mm-hmm. doing. You know what can get your teammates going and what not to get them going. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So. What do you think gets us going, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> How you tee us up? Gets the people uh, going. So it depends, okay? Okay. If Zay is having a bad day, right? Let's say uh, he's just not hitting for okay. whatever reason that day, right? It's a couple things. I'm going to just tell you what I would, what I would do. Mm-hmm. It's a couple things I could do. Um, One, I could... I could Pull him to the side, tell him what I'm seeing. Perspective. I, right. I, and I'll talk to him from a, like a, a strategical standpoint. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, bro, like, nigga, you know what you can do, right? <laughs> y'all know what, hey, y'all know what, y'all I, know can what do. I can do, right? They doing this, this, this. Mm-hmm. Why not just do this? But, da-da-da-da-da. yeah, but then you got this. Oh, okay. He go try that shit. It might work. It might not work. Yeah. Right. Um, there's other times where I can just, hey, Zay, come on. Like, see ya. Like, what you chilling for? Sometimes it, I think that in, uh, assurance from people that hoop with you on the regular. Yeah. It's, it it kind of gets your mental going the right way. Because yeah. we had times where we had had some matchups and we shined away. Hey, hey Bob, what, what you doing, doing, bro? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. Hey, Zay, like stop him. playing with your food. food. So sometimes. Shout out to Brandon. He really put me on to that. We love that line. <laughs> Stop food. playing with your food. Not just food. food. He would just say food. He'd be like, like Aaron, food. Yeah. Food. <laughs> you, ma- you make a pass. As soon as you hear food, you already know. Yeah, y'all got it clear out. <laughs> what was Kobe doing? Mm-hmm. Get the hell out the way. I saw. I saw. Straight like that. Yeah. So what teamed me up? It's a couple of things. Uh, I thought this was going to be some shit. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a couple of things. Um. Good defense. I ain't even fin- I ain't even finished with him. Sometimes with him, him seeing us get a tough bucket, especially when we string him off. Like when Walt we'll dropped get- homeboy. <laughs> It'll get oh, him shit. going. Oh shit, he did do that. He did, bro. <laughs> oh, did he did do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> he did do that. And then was that the day he hit the game winner? Mm-hmm. That was, yeah, that was you had a day. day. Yeah, he you had a day. That nigga a walk day. was off a of perk. The day you dropped Jeremiah. Yeah, you did hit the game winner that day. <laughs> Jeremiah got the weakest ankles probably in all of North <laughs> Texas. I swear. <laughs> like, Jeremiah gets dropped every single time he walks up in that gym. You want to talk about it? We can. I've dropped Jeremiah twice. I've put him in the rim twice. How many times walk- he put you in the rim? He put me in the rim once. Whose was better? Mine. Ooh. It was more. It was body. <laughs> it was body contact. He him, would I, build that bitch, say. That's fine. I jumped off to the side. I mean, y'all niggas ain't gonna put me on the poster. That's fine. Let's see you. Uh, yeah, with Zay, if you if if Love you, we get a couple a couple tough buckets, we string them off, right? That shit will get it'll get him going. Mm-hmm. If he see uh, I don't know how it is about you, but if he see me sit down, and it's like I'm sitting, yeah, that yeah. shit get him going. Shit, that shit get me going too. Uh, 
You already know. Oh yeah, I'm with you. You already know yeah, what that means. Know what that mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just like y'all know how we is. Like we study this shit so much. So like, this is my opinion. I feel like I know y'all spots better than y'all know y'all own spots. No, as a as a as point, a point guard, guard, I feel like that's necessary. Okay. Though. So like, so where are my spots? Don't worry about it. So sometimes <laughs> it's really just like there's no wrong answer. It's all over the court. Her. <laughs> All ninety four, huh? All ninety four. Hey, I ain't mad at it. As soon as I cross half court, y'all. I saw. I saw. We didn't even pass it in. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just yeah that's fine. Y'all read it. It's cool. Y'all know what I could do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but sometimes it's just like getting him, putting him in positions where it, like it's easy. Bro, you've uh, ripped it out thousands of times. If you miss it, you just gotta live with it at that point. Hurt. For you, um, yeah. If I'm sitting, I know yeah. that I know that'll get you going. Um. The, the the eye contact. I'm laughing because we had so many moments where I'd be to, chilling and I'll look over on the sideline. All I see is just eye contact. Yeah. Just eye oh contact. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> eye contact. He know he know what's up that way. Um same with you, same thing with him. Like I know where your spots is. I was telling him yesterday, um, was it that first game we played? It was like, I'm just getting you your touches early. Yeah, you gave me like seven quick. Yeah, just get him his touches early and like the rest will come. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know sin for sure. I know anytime I do anything like athletic, right, <laughs> that'll help him up. Like don't let 6'6 six, six and me fight for the board and I come up with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, any 50-50 and then go ball. Ba- and then you're going back up. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, right yeah. afterwards we write into the press. Yeah, right like, afterwards you see that. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah that shit hype him up. Yeah. I'll be right there. Uh, anytime, uh, any fifty fifty ball. Yeah, he. That I like there. hustle. I like anytime they go on the floor R- diving R- for R- it. R- yeah, that nigga there. Um, any type of uh, anything that has to deal with effort. Effort. Mm-hmm. It don't matter on. Which end it is, mm-hmm. that shit will get him going. <laughs> yeah, that shit will get him going. Yeah. Facts. I already tell you, I know what gets you going. Why you say like that? I already know what you be on. Let's. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> this nigga Walter. That's worse than stiff back? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, all right. For Aaron, it's. Uh, Obviously, any type of talk can get him going. Any type of altercation. Anything. Not necessarily. Hey, bro, so you mean to tell whoa, me. Whoa, me, me and you talk shit all the time when we hoop, right? And I be chilling. That's different. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, let me come up to you. It's um, we 10-10 and we lose last Close two ten. points. Hey, so you mean to tell me you're the quickest, fastest person out here, most athletic. You're the point guard. That means you're getting the rock every single time. And we having to have conversations like, oh, I don't know why homeboy took the shot. Why'd you pass him the ball? You mean to tell me that that's who's guarding you and we lost by two? Yeah, but I'm trying to get everybody else set. You mean to tell me that that's who's guarding Yeah, you're right. Next game, what's, what's going to pop off? Nigga rattle off seven straight, seven, eight straight. Every time. And they tough. Yeah, I, I think yours is more around. mental. You get trapped so, so far in your mind sometimes trying to make the perfect play when sometimes you just got to go be a bucket. The boy developed the shot now. Took about two years. Jeez. <laughs> oh, but seriously though, I don't think people like really realize how uh, hard that is. Yeah, I to agree. What? Teach yourself something. I like the general mm-hmm. phrase on that because it's not just shooting. For, for me, it was shooting. Mm-hmm. But like he said, generalizing it, it's hard to teach yourself something, bro. Especially when you're at a certain age where you're stuck in a certain art form. Yeah. And you have no sort of guidance and you got to figure it out yourself. Definitely. Like, think Definitely. about it. You got the Ball Brothers that have made it that far with that type of... Now, granted, they dropping buckets, but look at the art form of their shot. Was You know his shit changed? You know Lonzo shit changed? They did it the first three years they were uh, working on changing. He was working with all type of people his, his first three years. Though. Yeah. Not not in 2K. Definitely. <laughs> just saying. I'm definitely a ball fan. I'm just saying he made it all the way to the league without getting that changed. So what you're saying is I can make it to the league. That's what you say. I appreciate you, bro. Why you start scratching your head? My you, head itching. See, that whole ain't been itching all y'all, day. It y'all just know I'm, itching, y'all know I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know this. 
Not don't to say laugh. Was don't laugh, Walt. Don't laugh. <laughs> Walt well, probably got the best shot of all four of us. Don't don't hype him up like that. Don't do I was that. I just want to see if he was gonna give don't. me a, what did he say? <laughs> now he quiet. Walt got the best shot out of all of no us. No, the fuck he don't. Walt a bucket. That's fine. He don't have the best shot. He's Who's probably the, the most consistent ball player. You remember when I had him in jail? No bail, no parole, nothing. Life sentence. You yeah. remember that? Yeah. We had him in jail for like three straight hoop we sessions. We playing ones, bro. Mm -hmm. We playing ones. How many games did we play? That first day, I think it was like five or six. We played five or six games. I cannot make this shit up. He I didn't stripped, score. I stripped the ball damn near every single possession. And I'm wanna, so serious. You want to talk about this nigga the fucking, the fucking bucket. This nigga what if he just shot. let y'all do that so he can build up y'all confidence? Maybe he's the real point guard. Out of we don't team. need Walt to build up our confidence. <laughs> we have internal confidence. We, we build our own confidence as soon as we walk in the fucking gym. You know what I could do. Nine seconds left. We down by two. We ain't giving Walt the ball. Shit. <laughs> Respect. No, 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 no. He did we, hit that hoe, though. No, no, no. We say. I was we like, say he, he did hit that hoe. He, he hit dropping that people hoe. in. He, he did hit We that say shit. Off the sidestep but, three, contested. But it's circumstantial. I'll say that much. What's the circumstances? Shit, if we on the same team, Walt, no, respectfully, unless he's wide ass open on a kickout, he know respectfully Aaron and I take that shot. Did right? you hear me yesterday? <laughs> you 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 might have heard me yesterday. Did you? I don't know if you heard me. He was trying to post up, right on your ball side, right. Yeah. I said, "Walt, get out! It's going up." Walt still oh, I fight. heard you say that. I heard you <laughs> say Walt that. still fight. I said, "Walt, it's going up." <laughs> Trey Ball, I'm on block. You didn't hear me. I'm on block. I was like, get Bobby, out, bro. Uh, Bobby it's don't going do that. Up. Don't do that, Bobby. Uh -uh. I'm, Bob you know, I'm trying to cut Aaron, elbow. Aaron go through. Aaron go through. Bob, it's nah, going he, up. He's shooting out. Yeah. All right, you already know when when Zay go twink. Did, did they score? Did you tell him about that? Kicked it out. Yes. Tom Zay. Facts that he Zay made it. Down. That that's the key part. And he hit this month. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. That okay, yeah. That cool. twink twink. Yeah. Cool. 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 You already know I what's already going know. on. I already know. You already know with Aaron. His is that soft toe touch tap thing that he do. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Soft toe of death that you be doing. Half step, full step. Mm -hmm. And then you What are y'all talking about Y'all stop it No You know what we talking about No I don't Half step full step Especially in the triple threat If he oh, in the triple yeah. threat And he half step full stepping Best believe If he doesn't that go right going. That nigga is going Into your chest Going left <laughs> And that's 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 really what it is Yeah That's not a bad thing I, I ain't say nothing I'm I'm told just, that. Just, you, what you call toe. it? Soft toe of death. <laughs> Every time we be running the ones, I always say that. Okay, no, no, no. We're not gonna do this and just ignore the the stiff back of of fucking. Uh, Notre Dame. How many times I busted somebody ass with that though? Not huh? on me. <laughs> what no, what no, you no, trying no. to say, Aaron? No, no, no. no. I'm locking that shit up. Oh, okay. There's times. Why you keep on looking at Zay? Oh, because I was gonna bring up the time you hit game on him. <laughs> the, See, the I time knew that singular? shit was coming, and I was trying to. Just oh, one my time. Fault. My fault. You know my Alzheimer's kick in when we start. Yeah, my fault. There's been times where it's like I think I've been playing like the best defense of my life. Yo, get you that bitch. And it, <laughs> it really just be that. Like Bob will do that little stiff ass shimmy he do. Where he like, <laughs> just, Why are you imitating? It's straight imitating shoulders. Again, imitating again. <laughs> it's it's straight shoulders. No 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 hip fluidity. No none of that. It's straight shoulders. He turn around, cock that bitch back here. I'm talking about where your head be at. Where your head be at? My hand be damn near like on his face. No, it don't be Crazy. on his face. It be above his face. Cause the ball back here. That hope be. Cash. I be like, what else am I supposed to do? That's game. What you mean that's game? <laughs> he has such a nah nah Zay. That's nah game. Zay. He, nah he, he fuck that. That's game. <laughs> Run it now, back. He, now he punching the, uh, the, the fucking walls. walls. Mm -hmm. See, we not gonna talk about that. You shit, remember man. uh uh oh, oh Zay. Up. Gracious. Hey, Zay, he trying to rest. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? I feel like that's the day that the dog came out. You know, trauma builds character. Was Jeremiah there that day? No, nah, Jeremiah wasn't there that day. It was just us three. We it were running. Just us yeah. Three. Remind me. I was busting y'all last. We playing 21. Mm. But notice who ended up winning, and though. Let me finish the story, nigga. You got to tell the story. We playing 21. Me and you do. We, we going, you know, how we doing, right? I got game point. I think you at like 17. You're not too far behind. So mm -hmm. crucial possession, right? It got to a point, bro, where like 
we was guarding each other damn near from the white line of the other side. Well, mm-hmm. y'all was way past half court. Yeah, like it was bad. So now that it's, it's tight, it's one possession in. I didn't cut though. I'm chilling, nigga. You sitting there I'm under the goal. Too. Bob under the goal. Bob say, hey, say Aaron trying to rest. <laughs> oh, the fuck he not. Oh, no, the fuck he you not. Come up there, start pressing. Long story short, bro, we on this bullshit. Bob ended up winning the game. I hit like five threes straight. I had like eight. That ain't hit game. Zay, that ain't game? What you mean? That ain't, I'm that ain't game. Ain't no fucking way. Yeah, Zay, Zay I've been trying to game, tell you over bro, here trying to full court guard me. me. Yeah. Bobby getting rebounds and shooting threes. Yeah. Damn. Good times, man. Walt would have won in half the time, though. Stop gassing him up. Why y'all don't be giving Walt his, his due we respect? We be giving Walt his praise. Walt, no, we do. That... <laughs> <laughs> Correction, I be giving Walt his praise. Walt be putting out buckets. Why no, Walt he do. He do. When Walt he be do. sitting on the side. When do y'all ever see Walt sit down? I'll wait. All the time? He never have to sit down. He always get picked up. Because yeah. he tall. And giving people buckets. He don't give me buckets. What Whoa. about uh six foot six dude Walt. that used to be there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. No, I Walt, seen it too. Wait, wait, don't wait, wait, do wait, that, bro. Cause what we will really do, we can go play for the channel and we can post that shit on the channel. We can do that. You want to do that? You want to do that? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's let's add another another side to it. Did one of y'all the niggas egg, bring an egg? So I was about to say the egg shit. Whoever loses, if I gotta drink it, you gotta do double. Y'all gotta drink it? Yeah. A egg? What you mean, nah? It's a whole no. That's 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 his own separate thing. You're not okay. gonna get out of that. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you lose, if you lose, you drink it with me. If I gotta drink it. Okay, cool. And we posting it up on the channel. What are we going? Man, we, I'm about to drop this nigga off. I'm not playing with my food. <laughs> Set a time and place at LA. Man, we're going to do that shit today. Once we get done oh, here. shit. Jeez. Man, it's only like 7 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock, 8 30, o'clock bro. bro. We got time, bro. We good. Jeez. It, it'll be quick. Don't worry about it. It'll be, quick. it'll be quick, bro. What y'all going to? 7. Shit. All ones. Shit. What happened when he started posting you up? We play three dribbles. Oh, okay. Stipulations. Hey, you know, if he's loading it up, he's going to have all of the senior editing cuts and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So no one will ever know the narrative if you don't film it yourself. Out of all the shit I've ever recorded with y'all, have I ever cut anything? What shit have you recorded? Shit. Outside anything. Of the pod. No, but that's different because we never recorded shit realistically outside of the pod. Like hoop sessions, we always say. Oh, okay, yeah. some shit I put. Okay, our one on our ones on TikTok. That's it. He got a lot of ones. What about him? I cut out anything. Mm-hmm. Why would I cut his shit out? Because it's Walt. You didn't want to drink you your Yeah, you right. My fault. <laughs> oh, Damn. shit. That nigga Bam just hit Jimmy and his shit. We start watching the game, but hard, boy. Hard as hell. Um, then we cut, we got completely off topic. I mean, not off topic, but, um, so reason I started asking about the, uh, the anger issues and how your folks dealt with it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, how do you feel? You have kids. Yeah. Correct. Um, how many kids you have? Three, too many. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think how your folks dealt with some of the things that you, mm-hmm. you know, did or had to deal with growing up, you, your brother, your sister. How did that affect you when you became a parent? Uh, you know, it's real easy to give like a like straightforward, like cookie cutter type answer. But I'm a firm believer that as humans, we're receptive to all types of vibes and reactions and everything. Mm-hmm. So whether it was a negative or a positive with my folks, I feel like I was I taught I was taught something. You know, if you think of some a situation like a. Uh, kid growing up as a single kid with a single parent, right? You know, that absent parent, whether the, you know, let's, let's use a father. If the father is not there, right, that kid is learning how not to be a father. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, he can hate his, his biological father for like, you know, a thousand things, and that's going to make him very prone when he has his kid to be way better at these things, mm-hmm. right? Um, so with my folks, um, like I said, I got both sides of the coin. You know, my dad was a lot like us. Very competitive. Uh, he was an athlete, um, workaholic. So I uh, definitely got instilled with that kind of stuff. Um, so now with my kids, you know, I'm a firm believer of the stuff like the chores early, teaching them basic, 
fundamental things like how to take care of themselves. You know, our kids uh, do their own laundry. Um, they learn how to cook early. They learn how to clean. Um, communication is huge. You know, I do allow them to speak their mind, but we're really about respect and honor, just like I was for my folks. Mm-hmm. You know, to this day, there are certain words I won't say around my folks because I'll be scared about getting hit in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but overall, I think that a lot of the stuff that they instilled in not only me, but my brother and sister, it's reflexive in me. Like now, it's not even stuff that I think about. Mm-hmm. It's a reflex. And so my kids watch me and how I move. And that should cultivate and um, carve out how my son becomes a man. And it should also carve out not so much of how my daughters become women, but what they should expect from a man when they be, when they get of age. Yeah, not to just settle for any old nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm. Got to say the got to uh, set the platform for them the image. Mm-hmm. Do y'all so let's let's touch on the that last part real quick. Okay. How I act will show my son how to be a man, and it will show my daughter the type of man to look for. Right. Mm-hmm. Do y'all think that that is why, in terms of like dating why it is the way it is this generation because Oof, that's a we, toxic we question. genuinely don't have that what is that i think this is a person i see where you're going with i think it's a it's a it's a sexism thing in between it because i think that women are going to see this completely different than how men do if you look at the genre of conversations well like the vibe especially in america because you got to put that into there. It's a cultural thing, too. It's a cultural thing. It's a where you are naturally, right? Women feel like men just don't appreciate, appreciate them anymore and that we're not doing the steps to honor them or honor their time. But why would we? And that's how we feel. What are you putting on the table for us to want to pursue that? And then now we're both in this, you know, dilemma no, or whatever, and mm-hmm. now the youth doesn't have anything to look for, so now the youth is growing up, and here we are. You want to know something different, though? Um, yeah, I mean, because I'm kind of in between um, y'all, uh, these two generations. So when you think about it, a lot of times people get back to, like, the phrase of courting, right? What is that? That's a serious question? No, for the people who don't know. Okay, her. So, like, courting, you can look at it in a biblical sense. Yeah, I'm being dead ass. You know, um, how Christ tells you to treat your woman, right? Um but in a general sense, it's the platform that you put your significant other on and the phase that, that you are getting to know them, how you treat them, how you respond to them, how you cater to them. You know, we talk about things like sensibilities are uh, being vulnerable to them. These words that are really touching nowadays. It's not for real. Right. And so you get into this, uh, it, it can branch off into a lot of different things like gender rules, gender roles. Right. Um, how you was raised, especially if you look at it biblically or culturally, you know, in some cultures, women have a set guideline on how they're supposed to carry themselves. So with that said, I feel like those cultures, mm-hmm. let's be honest, mm-hmm. compared to Americans, some of those cultures don't be having issues in their relationships for real. Uh, don't say some a lot. And so, it, it's not so much that they don't Americans? have issues. It's how the issues are handled. Dealt with, yeah. There is a there is a head and then there's like a neck, whereas you know as the woman and it gets back into the general some of these women and you know different cultures they have a certain design that they saw their mothers and their grandmother and their great grandmothers do for so long that that's all they know like we just talked about right, right? and then it's just like the man is going to have a certain say so yada 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 but they also have to bring a certain thing to the table consistently. Right, like money, like or finances, like or um, um, being the enforcer, mm-hmm. right? The protector, the cultivator, all of these things. So nowadays, I feel like men and women have both lost our identity. You know, especially if we're gonna say we're, we're so quick to call each other queens and kings, but when you think about queenship and kingship, royalty, you don't see a lot of them moving the way that we move. Mm. But we real quick it? to hold those titles. How you feel about it? I mean, he right. He right, and then. Damn near every aspect of what he said. Like, I feel like it just comes down to definitely morals and what you were raised to accept, what to not accept, what you know is right from wrong, and just how you conduct yourself. Because I definitely feel like 
moving forward, if you're trying to like court a female, like for us, if we're trying to court a female, is that still existence for y'all? Y'all still court? I do. Do they not? I was about to say. Well, keep in mind, you guys have a biblical background, which is great, right? But is that a is that of the norm for y'all's age group courting? Well, oh no, I don't think for our age group, hell no. no. Well, no, no, I don't think they know it as that, but I think they do it in some form. I think you guys have been force fed too much. <laughs> you guys have social media was disrupted a lot of the courting phase. That's that's exactly why I laugh because it's like nowadays it's either you hit somebody in the DMs, it's like you don't even take the time to get to know a person. You're just looking to fuck. Give give you a perfect is example. Not, is that? Well, okay, just because something... Ooh, That's take, our definition of courting nowadays. Take take this with a grain of salt. Okay. okay. Just because something evolves does not mean that the new way isn't... Like, am I making sense? I don't know if I'm... I got to hit the end point. So you're saying the way something evolves, like, so, for example, courting, from the way it was back then to the way it is now, does that necessarily make it bad? That it... Isn't it's not courting. working. It's not. It's not the I, same thing. I still think it's courting. It's That's just fair. Different. Okay, but can we have those same exact standards, expecting the same results? No, no. So cult, um, courting back, uh, you know, in the early 1900s. Um, Damn, nigga, you 1950s. Old. Oh, I was not there. Oh, but you know, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> you didn't have certain things like phones, right? Yeah. So, so you if you really was feeling a house, woman, what did you have to go do? You, you weren't catching a Lyft or an Uber. Pursue her. You had to literally go walk miles or take a horse or get the trolley, right, to go get her time. Okay, boom. And is that right there why women are saying, well, okay, yep. <laughs> is that right there why women are saying, excuse me, why they feel as if uh, men aren't trying? And that's why I said we're force-fed it, right? Like, we we talk about Fogo, right? Shout out to Fogo, that child. All right. Sponsorship? Right? Mm. <laughs> we talk about things like um, when we have the bread right to go eat at this this nice restaurant that we like, right? Mm. That's when it's available to us, right? What happened if Fogo dropped their prices to $10 a person? <clears throat> Everybody going to Fogo. Right? And then they expanded to five different type of restaurants all within walking distance of us. Does Fogo, is Fogo still as special to us? No. To be honest, no. Are we still pursuing it? No. Are not we even as, having this conversation about Fogo? So with women, you know, back in the day, this courting process, you had to make sacrifices to get that time, to get that attention, right? Because even certain things like moving too fast was seen as disrespectful. Whereas now we have swipe culture. In a matter of literally 1.5 seconds, you are determining this woman or this man's worth. And we either swiping left or swiping right. And then what happens right after we do that? Within a nanosecond, doing it again. we already have another proposition. And we can do this in different sites, right? Really, really quickly. And before you know it, you got 20, 20 candidates, right? Mm -hmm. That you can all shoot messages to in the exact same day and that's supposed to be normalized. How could you fully give yourself 100% of somebody when you're giving 20 people 5%? Hey, say that again, bro. I'm just saying, how can we naturally do that? And so, like, as men, here's the, here's the crazy part about it. There's women in y'all's generation and my generation now that found that acceptable. And then they went. So now no, you go. No, 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 no. We, chop shop. Yeah. Go ahead and say what you had to say, bro. <laughs> chop shop. I was going to say, and then they wonder why they can't find a quality man. Yes. And keep in mind, I'm not saying that all, and this is a disclaimer for all of this conversation, because I know how some of y'all get. This is not a disclaimer for all women and all men, right? But you have certain men and some women that buy into that culture. So do when they do run across a good man or a good woman, you know, like you guys that are still courting, y'all looking at it like, what you on? What you on? Yeah. No, I'm, right? I'm, the, I'm the wrong, in the wrong. Yeah. And so now they're looking at you as the prominent things about you as offensive what do you mean you don't want to touch my body for months until we marry what do you mean you want to go on dates to get to know me before you all up in my face and they like like what do, what you, do you mean, mean you're not gonna pay my bills you're not finna pay my bills <laughs> what do you mean this date ain't finna be 150 bucks because i they plan on having serious, multiple though. they be dead serious no like they be dead serious i got stories and then they go <laughs> like and then when and then here's here's what happens 
then when they in, when they interact with men like that, they mm-hmm. find men that actually wants to court them, wants to take them on dates, wants to get to know them, and they find that not acceptable. Then they turn to, oh, well, I'm independent. I don't need a nigga. Oh, yeah. Then they go to things like OnlyFans. And now when they try to come back to those same men, we seeing you as dirt because you portraying yourself less than what you're worth. Yo, dirt is crazy, bro. Yeah. Listen, I'm calling it how it is. <laughs> no offense to sex workers, but respectfully, no offense if to sex workers. you're okay Welcome with the shop shop. portraying your body a certain way <laughs> and you expect a man to, to see, see it differently more than what you're portraying, you got your cotton and pick in mind. Respectfully. That's tough. I will. I will. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on my court. Court and uh, Wow. Talk English. I'm trying. I've been hanging around. <laughs> <a wall>. uh, <laughs> Damn. Chill out. So I'm on my courting type of time, right? And uh, I don't. I don't like wasting my time. That's a big. That's thing. the line right there. That's I don't like wasting. I'm not my here to time. waste your time. That's the line. I'm not trying to waste my time. So I uh, like these. That that's that's how I start. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm not trying to waste my time. This is what I'm trying to do. This is what I'm looking for. If you have any objections, let me know. We go about our business. I got so a question about we it. We had that discussion, right? And the response I got was a uh, response. Like beating around the bush. It wasn't a direct response, right? I don't want to waste my time. I go about my business. Mm-hmm. Then I get hit with the, oh, I just wanted you to leave. Oh, ah, don't even get me started with this shit here. Cause oh, you, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Every time he brings this up, it makes me upset because it's like, <sighs> why are you the way that you are? Yeah. Why are you stupid? <laughs> Not even just like that. It's more so like, fuck is wrong with you? It what, makes when what? things are so bad, it makes you rethink. Am I the problem? No, no, that's so ass, bad. That's like I know. Am I'm I not, seeing this wrong? I know I'm not, but it's just like. But that mental manipulation got you thinking. Oh, like, now now you arrogant, selfish, narcissist, narcissist. <laughs> narcissist, bro. They called him a narcissist. That's a for new que- one for questioning. The fact that you just lied to me to my face. And this was in a friendship situation. You lied to me to my face. You admitted that you lied to me. And the fact that I told you I was going to put up with it, that, you know, we going this way. I'm I got called a narcissist because That's I couldn't crazy. communicate after that, apparently. That's your issue, bro. Yeah. Like, That's your I issue. <laughs> like, so with that being said, so. This shit hilarious. For, for. We're asking for the young men out there, right, mm-hmm. who are trying to find somebody, right? Stay single. That's what I'm... That's <laughs> it's what, cheaper. You get what I'm saying? So, f- but for the ones who do want to be with somebody, right, you, there's some people out there who, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it, who they need somebody to be happy. I don't agree with it, but there's people out there who are like that, okay? Um, they're damned if... They do. If they do. Damned they're damned if they, if they don't. They don't. What advice you got for him? Um, I think it's two things. Um, one is definitely a question, right? Um, do you guys think that in this now and day culture with dating, that people, it has been normalized that people are used to having their time wasted? Yes. Okay. I agree with that. Then two, the second part of it is, and the response to that is that I think you get to a point, and we've talked, you know, when we chop it up about relationships, you know, someone who's getting ready to get married, um, and I've done a lot of dating and, you know, just in a lot of different types of relationships, just with people and women and family, everyone is actually going to hurt you in some form or mm-hmm. form or matter, you know? You have to pick and choose which ones are worth being hurt by to be able to build the love on top of that. Mm-hmm. Remember when we talked about why we love basketball? Mm-hmm. That's why I love basketball. Basketball didn't hurt the fuck out of me. Right. But... I pick and chose what to take away, what, you get what I'm saying? to build on. To build yeah. off of. Because if you look at the definition of even like, because that goes into branching off on something else, like, you know, what is the definition of love? But if you look at like the, the biblical form of it, look at all of the definitions that it gives you. You know, it doesn't hold anger. You know. Um, love is patient. Love patient, is kind. Love is blind. Kind. Yeah. Think about if you actually applied that to it when we're getting ready to call these women ain't shit ass. You know what? 
are, you know, are we saying they, uh, women are saying that these are bum ass niggas? Are we applying those kind of metrics to it? You know, because we're so quick to say, I don't want to waste my time. But if we're doing something like dating and keep on, I'm that person. I've been in that situation, right? Mm. Dating multiple, which is, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it in a sense. But if I'm dating five women at a time, right? I'm literally saying in some form or fashion, I can't apply 100% of myself to all five women. Mm -hmm. I already have in the back of my mind that at some point, three or four of them are going to get dropped you. soon, yeah, right? I'll you. you think <laughs> about social media, <laughs> and from like a woman's perspective, women are very emotional creatures. And that's, you know, a good thing for us because they keep us honest. But they dissect emotions in a lot of different ways. And you think about stuff like self-esteem, you know, me back in the day telling a woman she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen doesn't hold water nowadays when she can flip a screen and see a thousand comments that say what? Oh, you bad, hard eyes, you fine yeah. as hell. And out of those thousand comments of those thousand students and women maybe who have posted that, how many of them do you think actually have interest in that young lady? Yeah, probably none, if any. Force feeding her the stuff that she wants to hear to get something monetary from her. And I'm not saying monetary as in money, but momentary, right? And if now, I and now as 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 a man or whatever, now I have to for y'all who are actually looking to court be, go above and beyond. What y'all what y'all gonna do? I, I can go tell I can go tell this she's woman she's the most beautiful bro. thing I ever seen. She's some cats. <laughs> Drop 150 <laughs> if I got it like that. 150 on this date. I just bought her time. Right. Essentially. For you guys that are looking to go the courting date, the courting way, you have to find a woman that's essentially on the same wavelength. Because if you're doing that with a woman who doesn't speak that type of language, she's not going to be able to identify the pros and cons of what you're actually doing. Oh, shit. You know, that coming from speaking. someone getting ready to get married, me and my fiance have many conversations where after an argument, we're looking back on it and she's mad at something that was never my intention to make her mad. But Lord that's behold, she got mad, and it's my fault. See, and that's my issue. I don't be going for it. <laughs> I'm well, not going for it. That's the patient part because the conversation usually goes, well, you know, maybe I was trying to do this. But I felt. How, how am I supposed to know how you feel? <laughs> well, you didn't communicate that to me. Oh, but as a man, you should know. Well, I didn't Why think did I needed leave? to make it obvious. <laughs> but that is a part of her love language of how we understand things. That the root of that situation is I never wanted to hurt her. I was doing something that was in her best interest. It takes me time to be able to see these things that are not on the wall in, in writing. So with that being said, for you guys that are courting, stay single. Get some cats. <laughs> Yo, cats is the way. Learn to be patient with it. Everyone is going to hurt you in some form or, or, or manner. You have to learn the ones, learn about the ones that are worth being hurt for and then working through it, I think. Y'all know who got me into cats? Who? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit. I ain't heard that name in a while. Yeah. For Damn. the record, Aaron likes women who got grandma names <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, Gertrude. She she baking the pot. <laughs> she was nasty. Yeah, she invited me to her place. Yeah, and, she's baking uh, a roast right now. Oh, it's just the beginning. We don't. We haven't talked in like forever. Why not? It's been a block. No, no. On it, on it. I don't have her number. I delete numbers. One of those people. Shit. What does that do? You're not gonna delete the memories. That's why I got the pictures for. Oh my! You still got the pictures? I got a picture of her. A picture. Yeah, one picture. She had my chain on. Oh. Yeah. You want to put the chain on? Okay, yeah, Jay-Z. She's Stop. Beyonce. You got the hottest chick in the game wearing your chain? Shit, that's the only thing. Beyonce took Jay back. Mm. Yeah, let me be worth about a billion dollars, too. I'll take, yeah, okay. take Jay-Z back right now. Nah, she invited me to her crib, and uh, she she old school with it. Like, I told her I'm here. Shorty walk out. She greet me at the car. How you doing, et cetera, et cetera. The cat walk out. She's like, uh, she, you know, walked me to the house or whatever. And I'm like, yo, I left something in the car real quick. I'll be right back. She's like, okay, cool. I got to go change anyway. I go outside, bro. The cat right behind me. So you got some pussy chasing you is what you're saying. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically, bro. I'm proud of you, boy. Um, 
So now, mind y'all, I've never like. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I've never like picked up like an animal for real. Like I pet dogs and stuff, but I've never really like picked up one, right? So now I'm going back in. The <laughs> Hell, you good, bro? <laughs> God damn! That boy yeah. got COVID. <laughs> I start walking back to the house I'm telling the cat to come on Like it's a dog Cat s- literally sitting down Across from me in like the street Just sitting there looking at me not moving I'm like bro come on Show you about to come out here She's gonna see you outside She gonna get mad at me like why the heck did I let her cat out and it's gonna be a whole deal. Just come on. Not catching that. that but cat. he did not move. I'm like, damn, bro, what am I gonna do? I start walking towards him. He start walking towards the door. Okay, cool. Let me get behind him, right? So I can force him in. But he looped back around, turned the other way. Like, damn, I gotta pick Buddy up. Yep. Oh, I ain't doing that. I picked Buddy up, and uh, at first, that's how I picked him up. And I, you. You know how you can tell, like, when somebody's, like, open or something? Mm-hmm. So, like, I felt like he was cool with me, like, touching him. So I went ahead and put both hands on him. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> y'all love that shit, don't y'all? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I pick him up or whatever, and I see he's cool with it. So I'm like, okay, yeah, he's going to let me carry him or whatever. Um, Carry him back into the crib. And I'm like, is your cat usually this, like, cool with people? And she's like, uh, for the most part, yeah. Um, I was like, oh, okay. She Ever said, don't feel then, special, nigga. That's what she said. <laughs> Ever since then, I've been messing with cats. And her cat was black. So you had some black. Never mind. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Right, welcome to the shop. <laughs> but shop. Um, as I was saying, uh, yeah, spin the block. Spin the block. How? What you mean, how? What I'm going to do, pull up to her crib? If there's a will, there's a way. There is no will. <laughs> That's a damn shame. Not for me. What about the cat? I actually think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Guys, 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 guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> guys, guys. Look, look, look. I get on Snapchat one day. Mind you, I don't ever get on Snapchat. One time <laughs> I get on Snapchat, I happen to see her story. And, um, yeah, she, she posts about Buddy and she's like, oh, you were the cat that made people like cats. And I was like, yeah, that was definitely him. And now he did. He Damn, did. see, she subbed you on Snap, bruh. I unfriended her. Oh, this. Did I? I'll, I'll check. <laughs> the cat memory going in vain. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to bring two people together and look at look at what happened. Um, but you touched on you touched on something. Trey ball. Oh my god. Trey brick. Damn. <laughs> you uh you you brought up something that uh you're about to you're about to enter a new phase, you know, into your life. Um, ain't there yet. She might drive me crazy before then. How Love much you, longer? How much longer you got? Uh, we have a little bit more than three months fully. Three months. Which that's closer crazy. to four now, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, you're about to get married. Mm-hmm. So all those things that you just mentioned to us, how were you able to process those things, and be comfortable enough to enter a new space like spending the rest of your life with somebody? Uh, that's a good question. The crazy thing is I don't think that I am comfortable at all with it. Um, I think love and marriage and commitment is a type of insanity that you have to learn to walk through your partner with instead of trying to just have everything perfect. So I know that I'm not perfect, she's not perfect, and nothing is the way that I fully want it to be. Besides the fact that I love her. And so when you put those into to perspective, you kind of get into this state of it's where it is right now, right? We're going to work on this, these gains that we need to together, but ultimately we're going to have to figure it out together. That's the only aspect of the relationship that I am fully comfortable with. Figuring it out together. Figuring it out together. Because no one is ever going to be, I can say a, a ton of things that I love about her and that she's great at, but there's a lot of stuff that, that still drives me absolutely crazy, you know, insane. 
and she, I'm pretty sure she can say the exact same thing about me. It was the aspect of saying that I'm not perfect, she's not perfect, let's learn to communicate together and figure it out together. But I get excited about the wedding and the aspect of what it means to her. And, you know, that's kind of comes from how we were raised. Um, I seen how my dad always catered to my mom, right. you know, for the sole purpose of making the kids happy, making the wife happy and being a provider and protector. You know, knowing what that kind of thing means to a woman, it excites me to be a part of the building process for it, knowing that I'm going to be a source of that type of happiness for it. So. But yeah, as far as being comfortable with it, you hear about most of the arguments yourself. Yeah. That woman driving me crazy down there. <laughs> hey, I guess that's love, huh? Like you said, when you're really when you're willing to take those certain moments and what was the word choice you used? Sacrifice? Was it sacrifice that he used? Sacrifice, compromise. Right, learn from those moments. I think that's the difference maker. And y'all's mind state nowadays, do you think that that is something that is visual for you guys what compromise the fact that it's all right it's 100 percent all right with me as a man to sacrifice to the level of me not being comfortable for a woman that i am not married with yet Ooh, you can have the shit. intent of it mm -hmm. but saying that we're not married yet but i am comfortable in my manlyhood to sit there and say that i'm right right i feel that i am 100 percent right in how i'm moving but this woman doesn't, but I love her enough to sacrifice my own emotions at times so that we can reach a level of compromise. Because think about it. If you if both people go into a conversation fully thinking that they're right and then they hold that stance throughout the conversation, who's actually listening? Nobody. Nobody. So this is my thing. I'm not even. I don't want to answer yes or no, mm -hmm. because there's been so many times where. A female will say some shit, right? Mm -hmm. And um, she'll call me out on it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she'll call me out on it. And, bro, go ahead. Well, you good. So you're not already passed through the frame, ain't you're you? You're not even in the... You should have came this way, but whatever. Um, Huh? No, I said you should have came this way. Fuck what he talking about. <laughs> um, And she'll call me out on something. Right, mm -hmm. and obviously, you know, nobody likes getting caught out on anything. Mm -hmm. But if I call you out and I'm bringing legit points and I'm able to articulate how I feel in a manner that I'm able to understand, and it goes unheard, different situation, right? Because it's like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Whenever that has happened to me, whenever somebody's done that to me. I can honestly say I'm receptive to whatever it is that they're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So with that said, if we can't do that. Why are we even wasting each other? We're wasting each other's time at this point. That's fair. Um, but, but you realize you have that same situation with family also? Yeah. And what do you still do? Do you disown them as family? No, but that's because they're family. Yes. So I feel like there are certain people that you make those sacrifices for. It's not everyone, mm -hmm. but that's why you have to take the time to, as you guys say, the courting phase to get to know who you're actually but falling in love with. She don't want to do that. Shorties don't want to do that no more. But to answer your question, uh, you were asking, how do we feel that you're willing to sacrifice or like compromise? Get to a point of compromise by like, you know, accepting that you're in the wrong even when you're right when it comes to you know your significant other mm -hmm. i feel like there's nothing wrong with that okay because you are secure in your thought process moving forward this is who i want yes so i think from an outside looking instant point i don't think there's anything wrong with that the only stipulation i have with that is mm -hmm. Just be sure that she is on the same page. And I already know, you yeah. know, saying your situation, but I'm saying this for, you know, other young men. Agreed. Just be sure that she's on the same page because you don't want to be, you know what I'm saying, not necessarily sacrificing yourself, but mm -hmm. you don't want to be off putting yourself so much that you're willing to uplift this person and they're not doing the same thing for you. Because at Agreed. that point it becomes a one way relationship and you're giving all this per you're giving this person all this time, all, all this of your energy, positive energy. All this diversion devotion, and you're not getting anything in return. So it's definitely a conversation that needs to be had between two individuals if they're looking to build long term. Mm -hmm. But 
to answer your question, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know what that reminds me of? A uh, conversation so. me and Aaron had. Um, so I read a lot. I read about two books a week. And I'm really big. As Zay was saying, um, basically he was basically saying, you don't need to waste your time on women that are not giving that same type of effort and energy, right? So uh, Michelle Obama, right? Uh, I cannot think of the name of this book to save my life. But she has a book out. And uh, when she was doing the tour to promote the book, one of the things she was talking about in relationships, it's actually went viral since then. She was talking about the, the insanity of thinking that it's supposed to be 50-50 in a relationship, right? And right off the bat, I'm going against something like that. I'm like, you know, why am I going to give so much energy? Uh, it's a delight. The light that we carry. This is the latest one she just, she just came out with, Okay. The light that we carry. But when she was promoting it, she was talking about her relationship with uh, Obama. And she was talking about the insanity of thinking that 50-50 is supposed to be the thing. And I'm thinking, like, why am I going to give more more to someone who's consistently going to give me less? And she went on this verge of saying about how, you know, she went a time frame where, like, we're really just not wanting to be around Obama. Disliking him. And, I'm my nigga Barack. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is the president of the United States once – what are we bringing to the table, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that on my resume. But she was going on this tangent of, you know, some days, and I talked to Aaron about this, some days my significant other might need a 99% of my, my efforts and my energy, and she's only able to give one. Some days I might need that 99 from her. And, you know, that puts us in a tough situation of thinking, you know, when we talk about, this is why we use the word sacrifice, you know, because you think about all the type of sacrificial things we talk about from biblical to relationships. What are you willing to sacrifice of your manlyhood to get through those rough points, to oh. get someone to a state of love? What was my response? Mm -hmm. when you told me that. Oh, you, you probably cussed me out and I'm everybody else you can, you can think about. Yeah, I'm not going for it. He wasn't, he wasn't trying to hear it. But I give 99. <laughs> See, I don't want to put a time frame on it, but. I'm going to put a time frame on it for the okay. sake of this Context. example. Yeah. I gave 99% 365 days mm. out of 2023. Mm -hmm. In 2024, is she not doing minimum she 300 probably not the one. days? She's probably not the one. Mm. And at that point, in the moment, once you realize she's not the one, you're thinking, damn, I just wasted mad time. And a lot of women nowadays are in the situation where they have enough dudes in line where they can go like through a grocery list of us, right? Well, I'm going to get him for this today. I need my bills paid. I'm going to go pick him up. They be so um, disrespectful. Him they got to save their phone as like <laughs> whatever place they went to, like, for example. So, I mean, y'all have. They can take a bitch to Fogo. She tough. got <laughs> his name and her phone is Fogo. <laughs> and changed her life with Fogo, huh? But the pick of the litter for you guys is it's tough. I don't, I wouldn't know how to navigate it fully. Hey, if you got your one killer, make sure you locked in, boy. Yeah. <laughs> but even then, like that, this whole conversation that we just had, like her and I, we had it mm -hmm. because she felt like as a man, I need to, you know, be making more time what, to what spend with her. What the fuck does that fucking mean <laughs> as a man? No, no, what no, no. What the no, fuck no, is no, that, bro? No, no, his reaction, that's my same shit. Cause when she mm -hmm. said that, I'm like, no, because huh? if I go to a woman and say, no, as, as a, a woman, woman, you're supposed, you're to, be supposed to be washing these boom, dishes. Boom, boom. Right? Hey, it's these shoes should wrong. take off they self. I'm misogynistic. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, come on, bro. But me and her, we, I agree. Had, we had a conversation, and I got where she was coming from, where she said that, when she said that, because, you know, circumstances, you know, during that time period, things changed. You know, we weren't seeing each other as much, and mm -hmm. I went in to let her know, listen, this is something I want, and this is how I've been doing it to show you that this is something I want to pursue. You know what I'm saying? I haven't gone to the gym as much because I've been here with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I would make time to, you know, try and spend time with you, things like that. We know. Yeah, yeah we, we, see, noticed. we noticed. We yeah, noticed. Yeah, yeah, no. Don't stop. Let me finish. I told her these things, and she was like, oh, well, I didn't know. You didn't tell me. Okay, that's cool. But I showed you. But you don't have to always tell me when you want to see me, mm. this and that, because I'm always the one making the time to see you. I don't see you making any time, making any plans. Mm. So what I'm asking of you is be patient with me mm -hmm. because this time period we're going through, it's not going to last. Hey, we're going to get through again, this. Boy, you said be what? Be patient. Mm. It's one of the things we touched on. And I was like, 
and I've referred it to the Bible verse. Mm-hmm. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious. You know, I, sh- I sent that to her and I showed her, if this is what we're going to be building our relationship on, I need you to understand what exactly is going on with me because mm-hmm. I told you what I had going on. And it's important to you what you had going on. Exactly. It's not like you Gra- just. I had graduation, yeah. had finals, you know what I'm saying? Things that are time consuming. And that you've put time into. Exactly. So when I expressed that to her, she was like, Yes, I understand. And I, you know, she she understood where I was coming from. Mm-hmm. And that's how we were able to compromise moving forward because she understood where I was coming from and I understood where she was coming from. Mm-hmm. So your whole the whole, you know, discussion we just had about compromise, I feel like it's key not only to make sure that the compromise doesn't always have to be, you know, mm-hmm. explicitly stated. You need some transparency also, though. Definitely need transparency, and you need comprehension to mm. understand. That's a word, ain't it? Hey, Look at your neighbor. You Say one. neighbor. Need- <laughs> That's a word. You, you need comprehension one. to understand why things have changed. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? What caused the change, how we're going to adapt to the change, and how we're going to move forward knowing Great. that this change has happened. So communication, compromise, sacrifice comprehension shit i'm gonna keep it the three c's communication compromise and comprehension that boy trying to make a t-shirt ain't he merch <laughs> merch you gonna you gonna put that on a shirt for us shit i keep it simple yeah that's it, that's uh, solid you know how when they quote people they put the little dash that you put at chop shop pot <laughs> hell yeah oh so uh what these are you, all the reasons why you are single aaron by the way i don't give a fuck that's my thing <laughs> i don't care he doesn't, That's and I've thing. I've I've gotten tired of trying to like push this nigga <laughs> to like. You it's know not what I'm just you, bro. I go to church. Aunties is talking about it. Pops is talking about it. You see how often I'm with him. He's talking about <laughs> it all the time. Cousins is talking about it. And it's it. like, bro, we know how the female gender is, mm-hmm. but it's like at some point oh. you're gonna find someone who you're willing to put those differences aside for. Yep. And until then, I will do that with my basketball. Like I said, I'll stop because I understand where he's coming from. What are you looking forward <laughs> to most from this marriage? What are you – let's go there first. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, for it being over? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I'm joking. Um, from the marriage or just the wedding? Let, let's leave it at the wedding. Let's leave it at the wedding. Um, the wedding, definitely for it to be over. Um, it's a big milestone. It's no different than us looking at, like, the – the importance of it's a lot more, but looking at like the uh, championship game, you spend your whole season waiting to get there. But for the most part, you're just waiting for that month to be over, and you holding the chip. Damn, that nigga got a milk dove for it. Jesus, oh, that's his pops, ain't that's, it? That wow, is his Tito, Horford. Tito. You didn't see that graphic? That was his out fr- Horford is shooting free throws right now. That's how it's the third. Uh, there is since, since March twenty first. Yeah, and we in May. It don't get fouled much. <laughs> We in May, bro. Uh, but what does that say? Um, I love Ready for it to get over. Uh, ready for it to get over. Uh, it's, like I said, it's just like the championship game. You spend your whole season fighting your ass off to get to that point. But then once you're there, you're ready for it just to be over and you holding the chip. Mm. So, like, you know, my woman's going to be the prize. I'm just ready for it to get over. You just, ready to, her. you just ready to ho- hoist her up. Yeah. I don't know if I'm doing that. She's six feet tall. But. God damn. Goodness gracious. But. You like trees, ain't it? Hey, I like Amazon. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Superman oh. liked Wonder Woman. What you mean? How tall is she? Oh, she's lame. She was like Amazon. She had to be tall. Speaking of which, I seen something where this nigga was talking. He gave like a Superman Lois Lane analogy. Uh-huh. Lois Lane, Lois Lane, Superman analogy. He was like, females nowadays they <laughs> they want to be Lois Lane, but mm. little do they little do they take into account Lois Lane was working with mm. Clark Kent. She was supposed to be, you know, they were supposed to be a thing, but she was cheating on Clark Kent with Superman. Mm. You need to tell these hoes mm. that they're not Lois, but they need to stay in their lane. <gasps> Ain't no more oxygen in the room. <laughs> that's hard. That shit no, was that, tough. That's hard. That's, that's hard. Was tough. That's I gotta, hard. I'm going to say this to y'all. But that's hard. That's hard. That shit was tough. <laughs> um, Damn, I'm seeing star shit. <laughs> and lastly, uh, any advice you would give for somebody about to enter marriage? Um, you know, I haven't fully gotten there yet. So, you know, I definitely want to, you know, shoot it straight. It's not easy. Um, we argue on the regular. We have good times. We have bad times. 
it's not much that changed from the beginning of our relationship to the end of our relationship besides a lot of what Zay said is comprehension. How I receive the things that she does and says and hurts and, and is happy. How I look at them, how I process it. You know, a lot of that stuff changed over our, we're close to 10 years now. Damn. Yeah, it's a third of my life. Damn. <laughs> a lot of how I receive her information and process her, um, you know, everything about her has changed. I would say if you're getting ready to enter that point, um, definitely have some honest conversations like Zay was saying. Transparency is huge. You know, uh, couples c- uh, counseling or having a third party, you know, maybe um, someone in the church or a uh, counselor, having a non-biased third party to help translate some of the stuff that's being said helps a lot. And then also just bring your patience and you're willing to work. Because if you're not, just like anything that's important in life, if you're not willing to put the work in, you can't expect great things to come out of it. Fair, 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 fair. That boy getting married. Does that mean I got to stop pooping also? No, 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 no. Hell no. That's just Zay? Zay already left. You like <laughs> no, I'm back. I'm back. I let her know, listen, I done made these compromises for you I before, know this homegirl was at the gym with you, though. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Let her know yeah. next time she go, I can put her with Kimmy mm. so that <laughs> we can hoop. Who? Who who? All of us? us? No, and they go do their thing. Yeah, because oh, okay. you know okay. they working Ooh, out. I was yeah, like, they can work see, out I, together. Yeah, I can't go through another episode of yesterday where <laughs> I have not hoopers on my team. I can't do it respectfully. Yeah, that boy was hurting, boy. <laughs> Mad as fuck. That boy is shooting darts across the court. Yeah, I see. Is there I, anything you want to tell your wife, bro? No, she ain't watching. She ain't. She ain't. Uh, she's, she locked in. She's one of the ones who told me she watches full episodes, bro. Full episodes. Yes. Dedication. Um, Okay, I really hope that you got that pot roast ready when I get home. <laughs> what y'all laughing at? <laughs> These are things that make me happy. It's the little. No, I actually sent her a message yesterday. Okay, actually, so um, we're at the court yesterday. Keep in mind how things went at the court yesterday, right? Good times. <laughs> yeah. I sent her a message actually before that stuff happening. I said. I love you so much, Queen. I can't wait to make you my wife. Aww. Okay. Damn. And um, when I got home, you know, obviously she in a bubbly mood off of it. Mm-hmm. And she was asking me, like, what made me say it? And I was like, I was in the midst of doing something that I really love, hooping with my, with my boys, being competitive, working out, all of this stuff at the same time. And yeah, what was you. most important for me was thinking about what I was going to do when I got home with her. Damn. That's love. That's love. Yeah. We I on the game. I we can't wait to get there, <laughs> man. Shit. So it's nothing that I should have to say now that she doesn't already know. But you know, she is the person that is the mother of my my babies. She is the one I don't mind sacrificing for. And hopefully one day you guys, you know, I have a lot of respect for you guys, and I've you know expressed this to you. If you guys don't know, two of my groomsmen here. Yes, Just sir. Yeah. Celebrate Finna that day with me at the wedding Pause ceremony. We go hide the alcohol from uh, from Zay. No, <laughs> no. But I hope that <laughs> I hope that with everything that I'm going through, that you guys get to experience one day and be as happy as I am. We'll see. Because y'all probably deserve it a lot more than what I <laughs> at y'all's age. I wasn't able to hold it together as like you guys are holding it together shit, so you mad we, respect I was shit. about to say we, we, we <laughs> don't dare do it yeah Precious. I ain't had to kiss nobody in a while and spit in a while but you Ooh. know <laughs> he didn't get it no you're wrong for that you really said that you don't get it but I wish the best wishes to you guys look at you giving me the look too like what I miss I said it too calmly is that what it was <laughs> man, say, bro, you bro, man, say, bro, you foul for that. Nah, that's foul, bro. That's foul. I said something good for you guys. What do you mean? I wish you guys the best. Wow. It's okay, bro. You, I, I still fuck it's with you, bro. It's all right, good. it's all love. Now let's get to the to the meat and potatoes. Get into the X's and O's. This this is the shit I've been waiting for. Okay, let's go ahead and talk hoops. Is we'll this your king? That, we'll get to that shit. Is later. this oh, your king, you ladies go. and gentlemen? Here you go. LeBron James, Michael Jordan, <sighs> Kevin Durant. If we look at all their accomplishments, you know, Mike got six rings. Why are we putting KD Durant in this conversation, though? No, just listen. 
KD got two rings. Bron got four rings. LeBron James is still a whole Hall of Fame career from Michael Jordan in terms of accolades. Not once has Michael Jordan been swept in a seven-game series. Do with that information as you will. He got swept nine times. <laughs> Mm. Well, you can't fuck up like that. <laughs> you cannot fuck up like that. Because I'm quoting the yeah, hard. This nigga was ready to run with it. And as I said, is this your king? He got swept two times. How many times has Bron got swept? Three. This was the third? To the fucking Nuggets. So we're not going <laughs> to. Not taking anything away from Jokic, not taking anything away from Murray, but it was tough. But we, yeah, so we can't act like Denver is not one of the most well put together teams, especially when we're talking about injury, not no no injuries. Mm -hmm. How many teams were put together better when we talk about scoring and defense collectively and pass? That's tough. IQ. The Clippers, if they healthy, if they healthy, they say healthy. (laughs) But I'm saying they dealt with injuries throughout the whole season. True, true. Y'all think if the Clippers healthy, they they go into the finals? Yeah. Yeah, that was Ooh, finals right off the, the bat final. though. Yeah, I had them coming out. I told I told them if the Clippers was healthy, they was going to make it out. Make it out, yes, but the finals? Yes. Yes. Mm. I think they're going to look, they're they, they would have to go through they who had, had who did they open up with? Phoenix. They opened up with Phoenix. That series took 6 games. Five. Yeah, it and PG didn't play. With no PG and no Kawhi, it took 6 games. But I thought we said without the injuries. Now, I'm putting perspective. Okay. So without them, it took them six games. Next round, they played the winner of of uh, the Minnesota Denver, Denver, right? I have them. I have them beating Denver. I think they beat Denver. And then who's guarding playing, Jokic? Zubats. Once again, I ask, who's guarding Jokic? Zubats. But okay. I think you put PG on Murray. Yeah. I'm. A- mm-hmm. I guess this is the coach part well, of me. You bring you bring Zubac you put, uh, out to the arc. That's where you realize him and Green, that's what makes them two of the most dominant centers. And keep in mind, I'm not even a Green fan like that, but I respect his game. What makes them so dominant, like them and AD, when they're not injured, is the fact that they are mobile enough and have a high enough IQ to operate from the three-point line. That's where most centers are uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And they are shooting from that range. They are driving from that range. And they are making pinpoint passes from that range. You think Zubak is finna actually guard him? No. But that's what I got in. We got into it last episode. Mm-hmm. Me putting Zubak on him is more so I want him to become a scorer. That's me personally. I want Nikola to become a scorer. Because I don't want him to pick us apart how he picks us apart. Because – Jokic, he gets off on passing. passing. He gets off on getting everyone around him mm-hmm. going. Then he does what he has to do. Right. If we put him in a one-on-one situation and take away his options and force him to be the scorer, listen, we li- we, we win with it, bro. We win. Yeah. At we that point, and we like think in the seven-game series, coaches are not going to be able to pinpoint to that Actually, from the first game and film. Sit there and say, "This is what they doing. Why not just run double high pick and roll?" And That's that cool. still we'll opens just up. It. If you switch that, what does that automatically do to the people who are playing off ball? Yeah, there's mismatches. Mismatches, and there's chaos. The passes, the passing lane still developed because to, to the block a double pick and roll, you technically need two and a half to three people to fully guard it. Shit, that leaves somebody. Yeah, but the okay, side. one, there's also ways to switch, right? That's why I said so, the two and a half, because you need somebody to either hedge or because we're talking bump, about guarding shooters also. Bump, bump all of that. Mm-hmm. Um You lost it? A tad bit. In how I wanted to articulate it. Mm-hmm. I heard Pat Bev talk about uh, contact switching. Okay. And I heard somebody else, uh, It was I forget the word that they use, right? Mm-hmm. But obviously contact switching is self-explanatory in how you do it, right? So with that said, if there's contact switching, y'all don't think there's like other forms of switching? There has to be if they have a specific term dedicated for that specific thing, right? Mm-hmm. So I say that to say, regardless of... The coverage, right? There are ways, or regardless of the offense, there are ways you can force switches on mm-hmm. defense. Agreed. Right. So with that said, like taking a a a, a double screen, mm-hmm. right? Just have for I'm just being hypothetical, of course. Just have the second screener. Just have his man up. 
and then drop the first the first uh, screener, just drop him back. Okay, so that leaves the person with the ball wide open to shoot. Shit, if that's your case. You lock and trill it. So, so, well, think about what you're saying. So, double pick and roll, I get what you're saying. You have to drop the guy because in a double pick and roll, that leaves somebody to drop to straight slip. down. Right. Towards the basket. Okay? Keep in mind, it's Jokic with the ball. Yeah. Okay? That means you still have your one and your two where? Either setting the screen or they're on the perimeter. They're probably going to be on the, mostly in that situation on the perimeter. So, your two primary ball handlers that can get to the goal, goal anytime they want, it's going to be the recipients of those passes because you're going to take away the layup. Right, and you're taking away the screen, so now I have a one option here, or I'm shooting passing over to Murray, who's finna go to work. He's not passing that bitch, joking that? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want my guys up, like, there's take these passing lanes away. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So that gives you the either the pass or him. If you're gonna take the lane away from the person that's rolling, now Joker has the lane to drive just to the left, but that's so that okay. Man, I wish we had some visuals you you so we board. can see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me make sure I'm walking through. So double screen, right? I'm in my mind. Jokic, I always see it going to the right. Okay, that's Joker's cool. to the left. He's Jokic getting ready to coming go right. off right. The double mm-hmm. screen, right? If the person who's guarding Jokic locks and trails, right? Okay. So he fights over the top just to run Jokic off, right? Mm-hmm. The person who's guarding the second screener, if he just plays a drop, right? On ball defender is basically running him into Joker. Now, mm-hmm. if um somebody decides to slip, the first screener takes whoever slips. Okay. And then the person who's locking and trailing is gonna have to just scramble out, and they live with that switch of whoever that is. Uh, so you're comfortable going seven games with him trailing the best score that's probably on that team right now. Well, what else am I about. gonna do? I, well, I want to force a switch, bro. I don't want him to pass. I agree, but what I'm saying is that so ideally we're talking about uh, Westbrook guarding Murray, right? We're talking about who's guarding uh, Zubak. So then you got. Uh, we're saying they're all healthy. I, for- I forgot they had Russ. Yeah, you put Russ on Murray. Mm-hmm. You put he's either. definitely well, quick enough to play Russ. both. I forgot. Yeah, you yeah. put Russ on Murray. Murray's Was he not starting for them? Like he did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You put PG on KCP. That's food for PG. That's fair. You put Kawhi on Michael Porter Jr., that takes away their scoring threat, like their explosive scoring threat. I mean, realistically, it's Jokic. Morris on Aaron Gordon? Yeah. Okay. It's yeah, like, who, who, who the hell are we going to have beat us? Aaron Gordon? Because, and then now, so who did you say was guarding Jamal? Uh, Russ. Bro? Russ. So now the Jokic and. Uh, I feel like it, be- it becomes a one on one battle between them, but I feel like. He plays his best. Well, you know how we talk about Luca and how he's so under control. Yeah. For a big man, I would probably say that's that's him. Who? You gotta live Luka's. with it. Yeah, that's you what put I'm him, he with people on his hip, how he plays within ten feet of the goal, and you telling me that he's gonna go into that ten feet with the defender out of position. You gotta live with it, bro. I don't feel like I don't feel like I can't uh, stop. I can't st- <laughs> I can't stop Jokic getting thirty and Jamal getting twenty five and Aaron Gordon getting twenty two. Mm-hmm. There's no way we're gonna beat them four times. I agree. When they're doing that. And that's why I don't think that even if y'all say they lose that, I don't. I think it still definitely goes to seven games. Oh no, no, it goes to seven games. But the Clippers match up really, really well with them. Yeah, because then on the other side of that, they gotta stop that. Because you see, well, that too. Yeah, they gotta stop that. They you gotta see, defend uh, that. The Lakers try to do it, but I feel like it would work better with the Clippers. What happens if, like, once again, super hypothetical, right? Let's take Zoo. And let's mm-hmm. put him on Aaron Gordon, right? And then put like Kiwi, for instance, on Joker, right? So now, and then uh, once again, super hypothetical, and then put PG on Jamal, just super hypothetical, right? Now that Joker, Joker, uh, <laughs> stop, that Joker, Jamal, PNR, now you just switch it because you have two of your primary defenders. Primary defenders. Yeah. What about like on stuff like anyway. boxing one? We talked about that. My because ass said boxing too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's gonna leave that's some gaps. Zone. Yeah. <laughs> no, boxing I'm mean, who do you box in one? Mm. You can't do it on Jamal, because then Jokic is gonna do what but, he does. But we are we still are talking about the speed and mobility that OKC has to run that type of defense. Uh Clippers. Yes, my bad. Uh Clippers to run that type of defense. Like that's the type of team that would Prevail, and For then you got defenders, games, people like um, 
Kawhi being able to guard. Um, I think you can. Uh, he's on the perimeter. I think Kawhi holds you, uh, Joker. I agree. You know. So when you put that into perspective, I think that gives them their best bet to win. You don't do it the all obviously all four quarters. You mix it up, yeah, throw some different stuff at them, up. throw some double teams instead of you know. But if because if they're doing a double pick and roll to me, I'm throwing double teams before. That throws a lot of that stuff off, and then boxing one behind it uh, through some strong press man, yeah. right? You know, you throw some different stuff. I just don't think that that matchup is as cake as y'all want it to be. No, we not. I don't think we're saying. Or Zay least, was I mean, definitely saying that. I don't think it's cake. dog walking them. I don't think it's cake for real. I just think the Clippers healthy matched up better with Denver than L.A. did. Than mm-hmm. L.A. did because L.A. And what's sweat. crazy though is I feel like L.A. matched up good with them though. For I real. feel like L.A.'s role players have been very undermined throughout this series. Yeah, you're playing with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. That's shit. but we've seen that before. Dog water. <sighs> He does this every time. I forgot time, Melo played bro. for Portland. We're going to talk about him in a second. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like their role players, um, you could have taken away easily LeBron or AD, and they still would have been contenders. As Cap. long as the other one was still playing. Cap. You don't think so? Cap. So they run with, um, let's go AD. Let's say LeBron's out. And, you know, that's one of my so favorite players. D'Lo, Reeves, Rui, AD, Schroeder. Vanderbilt. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying – I'm talking about strictly playoffs also. I'm not talking about – I don't think they're able to come back from the bad start of the season that they started but with. you think they're capable of going to the finals? Look at the situation that they were in. Do you realize for the last two series they had – it wasn't a typical LeBron story, LeBron leading every single category every single game. Because he old. What it, it is what it is, but the bottom storyline is you look at it, plus minuses, he wasn't always in first place. Uh, when we talk about points per game, I think that um, that first season they had – Series. Huh? Series. Yeah. I think they had, um, what was it, five different lead scores. Mm-hmm. Austin had one. AD had one. LeBron had one. I think AD had like two of them. Two of them. Two. He was the high scoring uh-huh. man. Uh-huh. And that's why I said take LeBron out first because AD, when he's playing dominant, okay. healthy – so I think they still are there. Here's how. Yeah. Here's how. Uh, when he is. Here's my argument for that. Okay. Um, presence is very, very important in the game of basketball. I agree. Okay? Some of those looks that people get, like AR, Schroeder, AD, right? Mm-hmm. You don't get those looks That's if fair. certain people aren't on the floor. That's it's fair. It's just that simple. Now, I don't think, like I said, they're not going to do nothing crazy, but I feel like as great as a facilitator, IQ person, athletic performer bucket that LeBron is out of all of the seasons I've seen him make a run this is probably the not best supporting cast most complete supporting cast that he's had when healthy most yes I think you can go back to Cavaliers that was a squad heat. talking about heat I think the both. Co- both yeah yeah because obviously because think about who they had on the Cavs they had they had a squad Kai Caleb JR. JR who is their center Tristan Thompson. Mm-hmm. Off the bench, they had Iman, Kyle Korver, Deli. It did have Korver uh, there. They had uh, Mozgov. They had. I still don't think that one's better than because when I say supporting cast, that's we're not talking about the elite starters. The supporting cast, I'm talking about like we Iman, have what? You give him Kyle, six. Iman, Kyle Korver. You give him probably Jane Fry, Richard Jefferson, not Frank and. Old Suns Fry? No, we're not bringing Fry into it. Rich. Rich. Because even the the Heat, obviously, they were very dominant on their first line, but where did they fail at? How did the Mavericks pick them apart? The bench. The The bench. The supporting cast. They have legitimately brought three bench players off the bench to be leading scorers and leading facilitators. Think about that. Three. Not one. You always got one. We call them the six men, right? Mm -hmm. They brought three. So we're not talking about like the stars. I mean, legitimately the bench, the bench, right? Come on, Kyle Corver, Richard Jefferson. This oh, is- on his fucking head. Sorry. He boomed them, bro. Yeah, he boomed bam. Uh uh-uh. uh Boom bam bam. I didn't realize they had fell down by that much. Kyle Corver, Iman. Look, I didn't realize. Look, 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 look. That's clean. Foul. No, homeboy would have been like, that's a foul. Oh, what? So you don't think this is the strongest bench that uh, LeBron has had in any of his playoff runs? 
It's one of the strongest. And you think that that Cavs team was better? And it's crazy when you look at how the Lakers started off with their picks last year. You're asking me which team is better, the the 2016 team or which bench? This team, bench. Or just specifically the bench? bench. Yes, supporting cast. I trust no, this, the Lakers. Can we expect Wade guys, and yeah. Bosch to do exactly what they did? We expect AD when he's on the court, not what you call him tissue paper, not being tissue paper. We expect him to go for 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 twenty and ten. Skin made of paper. Give me three blocks. Glass. Give me five. So we expect that. Yeah. No, this bench was better. Yeah, because it's not it's. We're not even talking about that's the consistency. Is it better, though? Consistency and the clutchness of it. No, 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 no. Is it better, though? Like, for real, though? <laughs> no, no. Kyle Corver, right? But that's not uh, – Kyle Lebron. always had a strap, but that wasn't the same right? Kyle that they we're talking somebody about. somebody else I'm forgetting about. Um, that boy said Tristan Thompson. <laughs> he started for them. <laughs> he played yesterday, too. Let me see that. Turn yeah, my see damn that. TV off. <laughs> Got Tristan Thompson on the fucking court. Think about how much it compliments ah, his age. So also, I was wrong. So they had Delhi. Who? They had Della Vadova. Okay. They had uh, Steph Curry stopper. They had Mozgov. Kevin Love started, which means Thompson was coming off. Either Thompson was coming off, or uh, or Mozgov was coming off. They had Mo Williams. Damn. They had Iman. Richard Defis- Richard Jefferson. Mo Williams. RJ. You know Mo Williams is a coach at he's a basketball coach at Jackson State, I think. Mm-hmm. I didn't like, know he was bro, at Jackson. I don't know, bro. Compared to the Lake the Lakers really just have size. Rui. How tall is AR? Six five, six. He four. starts though, doesn't he? Yeah. So Rui D Low. Um, who else? Talk to me. VP, <laughs> Vanderbilt. Vandy. Then you got – well, Schroeder was technically coming off the bench too, right? Right. And you telling me that Della Vadova <laughs> – The sweep. <laughs> and, and keep in mind, Richard I feel like Jefferson. you're getting caught behind some of these names on who they represent and that's okay, versus though. how they actually played. No, but it's okay. That's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Keep in mind, who who knew of some of these bench players that the they Lakers have this. before this year? Why did they specify that? <laughs> what did they specify? They fired. They fired David Blatt. <laughs> I forgot about him. You got people that's coming off the bench now that weren't even household names before this year. Yeah, and they literally are, are winning games. Like, not saying, like, it's literally even, like LeBron said, they don't win this game without Austin Reeves. They don't win this game without Jared Vanderbilt. See what I'm saying? We weren't saying that with the, the Cavs Who the fuck team. is that guy? Yeah, and who's like, I had to literally, when, when I'm seeing some of these rotations, like, oh, I've seen that guy. But, you know, I'm talking basketball at work and stuff. Oh, such and such, had, such, and such points. I'm like, Who? I know Mo Williams be locked in. Those are two different people. They showed Derek Jeter and Alex Rodriguez on the screen. I thought they were the same person until they were side by side. Both great. Bro. Um, LeBron got swept. Mm-hmm. Unfortunate. Let's sweep. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's sweep. Is LeBron retiring? If he does, I wouldn't be surprised. Nah, I don't think he's there yet. I give him two more years. You see the stuff he's been putting out. About or the interview he 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 said. That's just because he's in the moment. He's he's so. he's marketing. I think that's what it is. He's marketing. Yeah. Notice how the media has only been focused on that, and instead of the you know the Nuggets actually sweeping these bums. Yeah. yeah. It's not I, I don't know about the bums part, but yeah. But also think about it like this: if he puts out that narrative that he's going to retire, if he moves to another team, you think people are more worried about that or the fact that he's coming out of retirement? Think about Brady. The fact that he's coming uh, out of retirement. Okay, Think of about retirement. Brady leaving England. The more of the narrative was what? He came back. That he was coming back, not the fact that he's leaving the team that he was. Came back and won another fucking ring. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, and then it became more of McKim versus Belichick and all this other stuff. But I think he's marketing himself. I definitely I don't it. think that he. this is his last year. Um, I give him a, another year for sure. And maybe two, depending on how uh, Bron, uh, Bronny. Bronny does. I think that Bronny situation isn't going to be as <laughs> – it's cool, bro. It, it, it's a first guess. I think uh, that Bronny situation isn't going to be what we really think it is. Which is ridiculous, by the way, that people are even making it such a thing. Let that young man who, bro. But he's playing with – like, I didn't even know Boogie was going back. But he's <laughs> playing with one of the uh, best scorers at that position. Mm-hmm.
What happened? Ooh, he yeah. rolled his ankle. Like, that was I his ankle or his it. knee? His ankle. Ankle. He's playing with one of he's playing with one of the get best scores at his position in the nation, right? He's Scotty son is going there too, right? Is he? Where? That's what I read. Scotty son. What about him? Uh, I thought he's they were going was to USC. You talking about Scotty Pippen Jr.? There was another prominent um, uh, NBA player. Oh, where his son uh, was. Rodman. Ro- it was Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman's son. Yes, it was okay. Dennis Rodman. So yeah, because Scotty's son is already in college, ain't he? No, Scotty's son's on the Lakers. <laughs> No, I thought he had two. I don't know about the second one. Okay, I could just be wrong then. But it was uh Rodman. Probably a stepson after future, you know. Like that <laughs> nigga wife, like, yeah. So he's playing he's he's going to play with one of the best scores at his position in mm-hmm. the country. They're bringing in the number one point guard of his class, and you're bringing in Dennis Rodman's son. Oh yeah, yeah and Bronny's coming. I don't think it's going to be like... When you think about money, too, because now we got to talk about money in this situation, now that they are marketing, because he's already has like a million-dollar deal, right? It's crazy. Crazy. This nigga's making more bread than all He hasn't even played one game. And, you know, everybody was sleeping on him, saying, like, he shouldn't even went to the All-American game. And then homie went out there and, what, dropped like six or seven threes? He did threes. his thing. Yeah, he did his thing. And most people say he didn't even belong because he just got there by his dad's name. My name's Hake. Well, I, didn't re- I never understood that because don't they pick, like, the top 24 or something? And he was like 25, 26, and the next person before him couldn't make it. So just going down the list. I didn't know the details of it. Yeah. They picked the top 24, Mm -hmm. right? So you put 12 each team, right? Okay. And Bronny's ranked at that time. He was like 25, 26? 25, 26 in that area. And the person who they were going to get after whoever got injured or whatever couldn't play, couldn't play for whatever reason. Okay. We just go down the list. That makes sense. I think it was blown way out of proportion. They just need something to write about. Next person is up is Bronny. I don't. I don't. And he can that. hoop. No, he nice. That's the I crazy like part. He can actually. Hoop. I like the way he move. And he can shoot. He plays. He has the shoot IQ. That. He's explosive. You know. Shoot that I'm guy. not seeing him just like drive down the lane like we see his his dad do. But he's athletic. He can shoot the the, the hell you out of the rock. You know what's crazy? I think the fact that he's it's funny. I don't. I ever wonder. If we think about shit like this sometimes, if, like, we be thinking, like, God did this because of this. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm thinking that. But I feel like the fact that uh, he's at the age he is now, paired with the time Bron is at in his career, affects how he plays. Because I think if... He's around. You're saying if Bronny is his age when LeBron is, for example, say in Miami, you think his play style, you think Bronny's play style is different? Yeah. Do you think he, are you saying that because you think he's trying to influence him a certain way? Or are you no, saying no, that just Bronny like is influencing how he plays? Bron influences a little bit, a okay. little bit. In terms of like now, it seems like he just plays the right way. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wonder if, like you said, if Bronny's in Miami, does Bronny still play the same way? That's tough. Good Lord. I can only imagine what kind of we talk about. Oh wow, that's definitely Celtics ball inbound the ball. I can tell if he threw off his booty or not. I hate when people inbound the ball. The refs got to be able the ones that that drag it out. The ref leave. I didn't see. Yeah, the the ref ref went to go consult with the other ref. Uh -uh. Um, but yeah, that's the. Hold on, real quick. There he goes. It's Celtics ball. Oh no, he touched that. Look at his right hand. His fingertips graze it. I didn't see that. Um, there it is. Oh, uh, he didn't touch that yeah, ball, bro. I know he did. What are we talking about? So yeah, Lakers got swept. Y'all don't think Brown retiring? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. No. Okay. Um. Let's talk about this series, real quick. It's looking Boston and Miami. It's looking kind of ugly right now. Look at this point. I'm not counting Miami out at all. Um, we've seen them come back from leads like this before. So True. I'm not counting them out. Yeah, okay. still six minutes left. They down seventeen. Jimmy hits this shot right here. It's still a fucking game. Oh, good pass. I would have shot the that way. Bitch. It's good D. Good pass. It's a bad shot. Oh, Better offense. It. See. Um, who do y'all got in this series? Miami. Miami, yeah. of course. I don't see them coming back. Four in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got to think about it. And it's the same thing about the Lakers. As much as I love Brian, 
when you're getting this is people who get million they get paid millions of dollars to dissect this game and millions of dollars to play it. When you think about the scheme of it, what is it that Boston can bring? Yeah, that was crazy. What is it that Boston's going to bring to the table that's going to make a difference in what they've been doing? Not shit. <sighs> Boston ain't doing shit. What are they going to bring? Like, it's not a scheming. It's not anything like that. Right now, it's just who's making more effort. shots and Some effort. like that, yeah. That's the only thing that's a differentiator. You mean to tell me that a team – and keep in mind, we're talking about – I thought he was about God, to murder that bro, guy. bro, what is going on? <laughs> I thought he was about to murder him. Oh, my goodness. You seen how we but go. Let's talk about Butler for a little bit, right? So, and I remember when this happened, me, and, me and Aaron was talking about it. We talk about the only thing that they can really change. It's not scheming. There's no playbook that they just haven't brought out. It's effort and it's making, putting the ball into the hoop. Y'all think a Jimmy Butler-led team. Which This is a guy that left a, put a whole Timberwolves team out on social media about what? Effort. Lack of effort. Have y'all seen the full story behind that? Yeah. This is a guy who went ham on when he first got to Miami about calling certain people out. He's not the type of player that's going to allow. He's like Jordan in a lot of ways and Kobe, that when you are playing on his team, he expects, he's going to push you to that point where you're giving the effort, right? right? So if they're losing, it's just because they're just not making shots. It's not an effort thing. We, have, we saw a game this in the playoffs where he'd be like, oh, they just didn't come to play. Or they gave up. Can't see they just gave, you just don't see it. I don't see Celtics. They say they win this game. They go down, uh, what was that, 3-1? Yeah. I don't see them winning three straight, four straight technically. Even if they do win at the crib, they come back to Miami mm-hmm. and handle up? Yeah. Fair. Um, and then lastly, well, at least my last thing, uh, with Denver winning, mm-hmm. does that make Denver the favorites to win now? Are yes. we talking statistically, like uh, box office? We're talking about Vegas rankings, like no, we're the talking favorites. Vegas, but also like eye test, of course. I think I think they have the most put together team, but I think you know we're in America where people love the underdog story. Yeah, How do you not true. want somebody, somebody like, like Butler? Now, granted, Miami, Miami has win. won. True. City of Miami has experienced it, but how do you not want somebody like Butler to win? That's true. That's true. Um. Yeah, uh, I'm. I agree with y'all. I think they are the favorites, but I also do want Jimmy to win. It'd be a crazy story. Yeah, AFC, especially Boston how he was brought up. Game. See if they score right here, bro. Um, and then watch him hit a three chill out. on cue. Him or Hero? Flair. He said him or Hero. Hero's still injured, Bob. Is he? Yeah. Where oh. you going, Bam? Damn. Oh. What he doing? Is, did he tell him to hurry the fuck up? Yeah. Where was the foul? I'm telling you, in transition, transition is the hardest shit to guard, bro. If you just seek seek some, they get a bucket contact, right there, though. If you seek some sort of contact on yeah. the arm, yeah, that's it's weak, it's but weak, baby but ass shit. <laughs> Y'all out here playing like bitches. Shit. shit. <laughs> um, I'm talking shit oh, to the fans. Uh, la, one more point, and then we'll. Hit our series of star bench cut. <laughs> um, the OG. Forgot it. I got it. OG. Corn Rose. Corn Rose. Corn Rose. Low Caesar. He uh, gave out his Syracuse video. Pride. Hezo Mello Fellow. Favorite, Favorite color, color yellow. yellow. Yeah. He uh, gave out his uh, his retirement the other day. The one and only. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yes. What was funny is that a lot of people saying, I thought he had retired already. That's crazy. That's so <laughs> crazy. Disrespectful. So disrespectful. It really is disrespectful. The one but and only, Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony. Real quick, I just want everybody to go around. What was y'all's favorite part about Melo's game? And you can't say shooting. You have to be specific. Ooh. Yeah. I'd have to say his triple threat. Was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. From the pivot to the shot. From the shot pivot fake, to, exactly. To yeah. getting into it. He played a lot from the, uh, like Jordan from the the mid-range too. So y'all know, was, I was watching, uh, I think it was, I think it was C. Brickley. Y'all know C. Brickley. Mm-hmm. Instagram, yeah. Oh, dude who works out, Jimmy. It's funny mm-hmm. how that works out, right. And um, they posted, it was either him or it was Jordan Lawley. And they posted something from, like, one of their workouts or whatever, right? And Melo's talking about it. Mm-hmm. And <coughs> in Melo's mind, he said he always wanted to create closeout situations, mm. right? Because mm. he could shoot that bitch so well, right? So even in, on his post-ups, if you notice, he would, like, catch and, like, 
you know how like like you come to the ball on your mm. catch? We'll get to that. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh well. Um, you know how when you come to the ball on your catch, so Melo would do that, and in the process he would open up to the defender. So now I think about it. You know Melo can shoot, and he's coming to the ball, which creates distance between me and you, right? And you don't want him to shoot, but you're gonna bite for the pump. Mm-hmm. And now all this triple threat stuff, like y'all said, food. Yeah. Yeah. I actually think more, I think mine for him is actually before he got to the league. What was it? His championship run uh, in Syracuse. That's when I had first started watching more of like uh, March Madness. And I remember following their team. I forgot who the big that they had. They had a a Caucasian kid there and a big dude that they, uh, I cannot remember their names. But it was three of them. I remember becoming really big fans at that age. I had never really watched basketball consistently for – for a college level, and I remember watching their run for their champion. And that was his freshman year, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Freshman year, this kid out here that reminded everybody of Iverson because of the corn rolls and corn everything rolls. with the headband. And then now he was and he was cooking. Killing it. No, who it was no. like, because he was college level defense is a little bit different with how they play. And it's like everything they was throwing at him. You know, when, killing. You, uh, when you hear some of them college people talk about, like, some of the guys that's in the league now or whatever, mm-hmm. or like them high draft picks, a lot of the times you hear them say, oh, yeah, we knew he was going number one. or We knew he was doing this, that he was going to the league. Mm-hmm. He was just moving different. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, y'all know I love Kai. Um, I actually didn't know until like a couple months ago. Him and Seth went to Duke together. You didn't know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. I did not know that. That man said, bro, it was was it was it either practice or like the first game. Mm-hmm. He said, yeah, bro, we knew Kai was going to the league. <laughs> just the way that nigga was moving, he said. Doing yeah, stuff that she's like, why? <laughs> get what I'm saying? Um, lastly, uh, your question: Should Denver retire Jokic's? Jokic, so, <laughs> I cannot talk. So today. Denver, them retiring the number fifteen. Who should it be for, Melo or Jokic? I was about to say, yeah. Um, Let's see who wins first. That's my response. I think if Jokic wins this year, if he regardless, gives them a chip. I think regardless, they should still retire Melo's first. That's my opinion. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I think you have to do both. But Because he brought them a chip. Especially if he brought them a chip. The first one in franchise history. That's awkward. You retire somebody's jersey while somebody's still playing with it. Shit. Jokic got another number. (laughs) Well, I'm saying think about it. They retired two for Kobe. How do you think they? (laughs) Yeah, but But those are different numbers. They were different. That's numbers. what I'm saying. Two other people couldn't get those numbers. They've been allowed. I feel like if they were, well, I guess because he just retired. But he's been, he was out of the league twice now. Melo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't, don't think that takes away from the Hall of Fame career he's had. Me either. Oh, he's eligible in 2026? He's eligible in 2026. He's definitely, I think, That's I think he, he gets in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. You know how it is now. Everybody, you know, look at the, like you're saying, LeBron and the, the Jordan debate. Everybody puts emphasis on chips. Mellow then the heathen. How, how many times did he get to the cha- the conference? Once? Shit, did he? Or not? I don't remember. I don't know if he's been to a conference. Yeah, conference. so he hasn't even made it. And you have people, look how long, are you thinking about what, kid hasn't been in yet? When is kid eligible? Oh, no, did, did Jason not get in? Did Jason get in the he's not, he's not in yet. Damn, that's crazy. But I'm thinking about it. He at least got a chip. Does he? Oh, with Maverick, with yeah, Dallas. Like, on, don't be disrespectful now. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> um, but I think you got to I think it's. I was about to say, it, it was? was recent, yeah. Okay, cool. I just didn't know the year. That's tough. Good Lord. Yeah. But I think, yeah, everybody puts emphasis on <laughs> chips. I think Joker gets it. I wouldn't be mad at it. Who? He was, he was once. Oh, okay. One conference finals. Who was that with? Was it Denver? They had did he so he played. It with, might have been he played with. And I think AI, they played the Lakers. Jr. Mm-hmm. He played with Jr. He played twice. With too, hey, uh, you know how mandible. fun that must be to play with AI and Jr. Smith, and I'm Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> yeah, Denver. That must have been so fun, bro. Yeah, I don't think I'll be mad at it either way, though. You gotta give respect to both of what they're doing. Two separate positions, too, in different time. Agreed. Agreed. You know, because Jok- Jokic is manifesting that position. Who, which know. Lakers? Who said 08? So that was Kobe's was Lakers. Bean. Okay. Yeah. Was it, they didn't. It's tough. That's the year they had. Uh, was that the year they picked up Carmelo? Like old ass Carmelo, too? 
I'm not Car uh, not not Carmelo. Um who they had another Hall of Famer on their team that was coming off the bench that year. Lamar Odom? Who? The Lakers or Lakers. Ron Artest? Nah. I'm just naming people. It was like an old school, old school ca- uh, cat. Uh, I want to keep on saying Carmelo. Was it not Carmelo? Robert Ory. Chill <laughs> out, bro. <laughs> it looks like uh, Boston's going to get a game. Finally. I must have been the wrong here. Yeah, looks like Boston's going to get a game. Better late than never. Don't laugh, bro. Um, Bob, we appreciate you, man. The very first guest on the Chop Shot pod. Facts, yep, facts, yep, yep, respect, respect. Respect. A round of applause for that, man. Hey, what been on point lately, bro? What? what? Been what been making in. me proud. Yeah, he been what locked been in, me bro. Proud. Proud but nah, Bob, for real, for real, appreciate it. Appreciate you guys having me. Obviously, I'm going to be behind the scenes helping some more, but I appreciate it. Looking to get you guys out there some more. Some good content going on here, so I appreciate yes, it. Um, with all that being said, um. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. We have more guests on the way. Make sure you subscribe on all socials at the Chop Shop Pod. We appreciate it. It's your boy, Aaron. It's your boy, Zay. Shout out to Boston. (laughs) We out, y'all. We out.